it's working? I have no idea. I haven't done this in such a long time. Uh, and it's also the first time I've ever done it on YouTube. So there's a chance none of this works. Wait, why has this not gone through? How long is the delay on this? This is no good. Wait one second. Okay. Okay, good. There it is. It's working. Hi. Oh, God. Now I'm hearing myself. See? This is stressful. I'm weirdly nervous doing this. I haven't done anything like this in such a long time. So, uh, excuse me if I'm rusty and <laughs> invariably cut myself off because that's what's going to happen. Uh, but thanks for all joining. Um, I see some good questions already. Although, the first question I look at Hey, Liv, have you ever hold, heard of Old Brompton Cemetery in London? Eh? Eh? Uh, I mean, I've heard of Brompton, I guess, as a cemetery. Strange questions. Very strange questions. Keep them coming in. I like it. Um, let's see who we got here. Luke's Trap. What's up? Kreiser. David Pesetsky. David, I feel like I've seen you on Twitter a lot. Uh, thanks for all the support. Uh, who else we got? Intelligent Eating. Important to eat intelligently, correct. Radoslav Mojilinski, is that Polish? Uh, cool name, anyway. Uh, Cameron SH, dropped out of Imperial College now, what do I do? Great question. Uh, go talk to 80,000 hours. They do career advice for people who want to make the biggest possible impact, positive impact on the world. Uh, so go check them out, 80,000 hours. Uh, they literally give career advice to people like you. You're probably smart, I'm guessing, because you follow me. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, so, yeah, go chat to them. Uh, who else we got? CPU. Just, just a computer. Uh, Luke Strap, Paolo Spinello. Uh, oh, God, wait, but why? Yeah, I was worried about this. There's Tim Urban. Uh, Kyle Sowards. Right, uh, so the way this is going to work is I am um, so just ask me questions and I will intermittently look and try and answer them but I'm going to try I've never seen anyone live stream this game before but I'm going to live stream Polytopia which is I think it just might be the best game honestly I, it's certainly the most I haven't had a game suck me in this hard uh since poker um and I'm, that, that means a lot because I'm a person who has literally gotten addicted to chess. Like, I had to delete the chess app off my phone because it got so bad. Um, because, oh, wait one second. Okay, so the sound, but, oh, by the way, is the sound working fine? Is the, are the volumes fine? Just give me thumbs up if that's the case, uh, or thumbs down if it's not. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I've gotten addicted to many different games. Uh, and I guess you could say I got addicted to poker too, seeing as I made a career out of it for 12 years. Um, and Polytopia has become a problem for me because it's so good. It's just, it's, so it's a turn-based strategy game um, that uh, you can play either against bots, you know, like just from, like on your phone, or you can play against your friends or real random people. And that's obviously the good bit. And then recently they introduced an ELO, you know, ranking system thing. And that's when the lid really came off because obviously, uh, you know, now that now there's now there's rankings now there's leaderboards now there's shit talking to your friends that you can do and so that's that's where this became um and uh i recently fell off the wagon hard with polytopia having had it deleted from my phone for a few months so while i'm in the process of making my new youtube video which is believe it or not still ongoing uh, well it's because i didn't have a house but now i have a house and a studio this is the first time people are seeing it uh um, with a plant that's not working. This, believe it or not, is an electric plant uh, with electric leaves uh, that does cool shit, but instead it's just, just stopped working. So now it's just a weird, janky looking plant. Um, but uh, yeah, so while I've been working on uh, this YouTube video very, very slowly, um, I figured I should probably try and grow my channel a little bit. And someone said, you know, streaming is a really good way of growing your channel because if anyone wants to talk to you, they have to uh, subscribe. So look at that, forced subscription. It doesn't even cost anything anyway. I don't know why more people don't subscribe to my channel, but um, yeah, so now I'm gonna try and do this a bit more regularly through my deep addiction of Polytopia because I do that every night anyway, so I might as well just 
talk to you guys at the same time. So, uh, did I ever work in the UK government? No, 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 they, they wouldn't want me. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, you're going to lose, thanks Tim. That's real, real quality trash talk. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Tim, by the way, I've played against in Polytopia. He's a smart guy, but not the, not the best. I would wait but why at Polytopia. So uh, but let's maybe, we can see if we can get him uh, playing today as well. Um, all right. So let's get Polytopia up. If I can figure out how to do this. Now I'm going to have to, oh yeah, this is going to be some. So I need to make my webcam smaller. There we go. I often do watch this, I'm on live streaming, like setting up their own live stream as a live stream, some meta shit. Okay, and then in theory, Polytopia, ah, oh, there it is. Oh God, but now look, the see the webcam is over the screen and that, oh. but I don't wanna be so small you can't see me. Maybe no one cares, I don't know. Let's just do that then. But now it's, easy. oh, I hate everything. It's asymmetric. Uh, if anyone wants to link for the next stream of some good like templates of how people set up their stream so that it looks good, uh, that would be great because this ain't it. Um, all right, so Polytopia, let's get the thing up. Let's see if there's a way I can not see myself talking because it's really upsetting. Yeah, make that small. And there we go, now I can see the chat. So. Let's go to, hold on, how do I go back? Oh, brutal. Oh man, is this gonna really do this to me? Okay, so this is not my fault, but the Polytopia, it, it, the, the game is designed for a phone, not for a desktop app, but they've released a desktop app and it's, doesn't, it doesn't now allow you to scroll down so it now looks like I'm stuck. I can't exit to menu. Do you see an exit to menu? No? Ah, oh, phew, okay, good. That was gonna be a disaster. So, this, this is Polytopia. This is the thing that I see in my dreams as I fall asleep. I literally dreamt about the game last night. I was trying to take two cities, it wasn't going well. I think Igor was there, like, I don't know, it was, it was all a mess, um, I think, I, more of my brain is occupied within this universe and in this one, so um, do with that as you will. Uh, but yeah, this is the menu screen. Uh, you can do, uh, I think I think to start, let's just, I'll show you guys um, like what a basic gameplay looks like. Um, so you've got these two modes. You've got perfection, which is for, like if you if you care about high scores, you don't actually want to play against anyone else. You just play against bots then you can play a perfection game. And that's actually a thing where there's this like week, I think every two weeks there's a new lead leaderboard. Uh, I once was on the top of the Samanti leaderboard. So Samanti is one of the many tribes. Um, that was in the really dark times when I was grinding the high stakes leaderboard, you know, the high, high score leaderboard. But f then, then they released ELO and now I'm sort of slowly but surely trying to grind my way up, uh, get, getting a higher ELO score, um, you know, because that, that matters more. So anyway. You've got perfection mode and you've got domination. Um, I think let's just do domination for simplicity right now. So these are the tribes. There's 12 tribes here. There's also four tribes down here at the bottom. Oh, you can't see my mouse, right? Yeah. But anyway, there, there are four tribes. Wait, how do I make you see my mouse? Oh, man. Okay, well, I hope that's not going to be a problem. Well, for next time, we'll have that. Anyway, uh, there are four tribes down the bottom, which believe it or not, are really cool, but you're not gonna be able to see them because I might be able to click them. Okay, yeah, you can. Um, but as I said, this is not formatted well for desktop. Uh, so you pick your tribe. Generally speaking, there's, so there's a whole Polytopia uh, Reddit that you know, if you wanna get into some decent strategy, I would go checking, check that out. Um, there's also like a Polytopia Wiki and so on. Um, and each of these different stri tribes have like different strengths and weaknesses because they all start with different technologies. Um, but generally speaking, Barda is like just the best, easiest tribe to play. It's the most straightforward. Uh, and then because we don't do easy ever, 
quite crazy is the hardest level. Uh, and you know, let's start. You can play with up to 15 bot opponents. Let's just do 10, just because it'd be really embarrassing if I just lost on the very first go. Um, yeah, so then your little universe spawns. There's, it's, it's a random spawn. Uh, and your objective, basically, is to be the last tribe standing and capture all the capitals. Uh, and you do this by growing your economy, uh, building units, you know, like, ba like all the different types of uh, warrior units. Um, and then you go to war, and it's really fun. Um, and I, well, I personally, some people don't like the actual aesthetic design of it. I think it's great. In the beginning, I was like, it's so basic. Like, what is this? Like, 2001, or not even like 1988. But actually, it's great. It's just really elegant, and it's optimized for just like gameplay, which, as you'll see, uh, I think is the most important thing. So, this is round one, uh, level uh, turn one. And there's basically only one standard move for Barda in a situation, which is to, because you come automatically with the hunting technology. Uh, so I hunt, hunted those two creatures, I don't know what they are, wolves, uh, and you see that my stars, so I originally started off with five stars, and this number here, the, the four, I don't think you can see my mouse, but that is the stars per turn. Um, that went up to two, uh, from two stars to four stars, uh, so useful. And then this is what you call the technology tree. Um, so these are all the different technologies that you can uh, buy and accumulate. Uh, so I can, so Barda is cool. They start with hunting, which for reasons, as you'll see, is probably the strongest starting technology. Um, and this num you know, the numbers on each of those is how much it costs right now to buy those technologies. And as you accumulate more cities, that number goes up. Um, you know, so it doesn't get too easy. So that's that. End turn. The bots do their thing somewhere over here. We can't see because there's a nice big fog of war. Uh, and I'll move because I'm exploring. Okay, cool. Found another city to get into. So now, I mean, I have a choice. I could purchase another technology. Uh, riding is probably a good one because that gets you um, horsemen units and they can move two squares per, per go as opposed to just one. Uh, and I think actually, well, I don't, because I can't afford, I've only got five stars. I could only buy that, but I couldn't and also buy a unit, which costs three. Um, so there's not really much for me to do now. Uh, so I'll just go on to the next turn. Boof, go there. Uh, obviously going to take this. And now let's make, now let's buy riding. Um, appreciate it seems like kind of a slow start, but trust me, it gets it starts getting really good. Um, all right, let's go over there. Nice, that's another little one. Uh, I can tell by the like the background that this is on that that's Aquarian, which is a water tribe. Uh, they're going to be nearby, um, so that's worth noting for myself. Uh, and I'm going to now buy fishing because once I press, because I'm see there's this fish I'm going to be able to get as soon as I capture this city. Uh, once I press it, once I've captured it, now the price of fishing has gone up. It now costs six. Um, so you know you want to think about the order in which you do things. Again, fairly simple stuff. Uh, so I'll obviously go to here. Um, might as well start bringing this boy over. Uh, gonna level up this city. I'm gonna keep watching what my stars do up the top. So now they've gone up to six stars per turn. You can see, like, you know, things go up. Um, you know, compound interest, kind of. You really want to start building your economy as quickly as possible. Um, because that's the nature of compound in uh, interest. Luke Strap says, I think you should develop chivalry first. Uh, so, to show you what he's talking about. Um, chivalry is down this branch. Uh, you've got free spirit, uh, and then chivalry. Uh, I can't obviously afford to do these yet, but chivalry is very good because it um, uh, it, it lets you uh, build knights, and knights, as you'll see, are a very very powerful unit uh, because they can string together multiple kills, um, which is just, oh, it's the best when you get that going. Okay, take this city. Oh, I just screwed up. See, this is what happens when I stream. I always play badly. <laughs> I did this when I streamed poker, uh, which was always very stressful. Poker stars were always like, could you, could you do a poker stream, please? You know, maybe on your Sunday session where I'll be playing for like thousands of dollars. Um, and, and so I would try and do that. And my ROI would just, uh, because it's really hard to try and be entertaining on a stream, which I'm hopefully doing somewhat and think and play. Uh, so that is error one of what I presume will be many tonight. Um, 
Uh, well, I see, I'm just clicking buttons again. Okay, no, let's level up this boy. Because, yeah, because again, you get, on this, on, on leveling up a city from one to two, you actually get double stars, this notable thing. Um, and what I wanna be getting now is I wanna get, so when you, when you level up a city from uh, level three to level four, uh, oh, actually, sorry, what is this? Sorry, level is, we're currently on level two. From level two to level three, you get an additional five stars again. There's like these little random quirks of like bonuses that you get at different stages. Um, so that will be an important inflection point that I need to try and reach as quickly as possible. Let's go here. Uh, let's get exploring. So we can see this fire situation happening through the clouds. That means that some, you know, these bots are going after each other and one bot is invading another bot's city. So I know that there's a city under there. So that means I probably want to start making some more units because I'm going to go straight in for attacking right now. Uh, the question is, what kind of units? Uh, can't really afford knights yet. Um, uh, but I do want to level up this boy as well. Uh, yeah, I actually think it's more important to get a rider in here because I want to probably just going to attack on the next turn. Um, and I can't buy anything else. Yeah, I've only got nine stars, and the next tech that I would want is forestry, and that's ten. Uh, so. Uh, probably want to go in here, and then let's see if we can take this city. Oh, shit. Bruh. All right, so we just met Aquarian, uh, and they just gave me six stars because they're stupid. Um, and also met Samanti. Samanti, my favorite tribe. They're like the insect people. Um, it's like there's like a whole bug infestation that goes on, and I really like bugs, so uh, that's the thing. Um, so I've just now gained a shit ton of stars. I've got 34 stars in the bank. Really time to start actually spending some money. And I think. Probably, I guess I want to get the information of killing him, seeing some more sick, get some more money. Um, uh, probably go over here and just get more visibility. Um, and now I have so much money, I mean, I'm just going to be laughing all the way to the bank. So let's buy some forests. Let's level this shit up. Bam, bam. So now we're going from level two to level three. And you can choose between getting a city wall uh, or resources. Um, I almost always get resources uh, just because the city wall is, well, first of all, it's for biatches. Uh, it's basically like increasing your defense, um, which unless you're really in the shit, you just don't need to do. Um, so you always take resources. Um, and we've got some juicy stuff down here. We've got two whales waiting. So on the next time I level up the city, what happens is you get border expand. So this black dashed line you see around Uruk, my capital, will expand one block over all the way around to include these two whales, which I can then hunt. And each whale gives you 10 stars. So I might want to look to upgrade my city as quickly as possible because that's just yet more juice to get. But, uh, yeah, let's level this guy up while we're doing it. Because it's just, it cost me six. I get five back with this level up. Um, but then, of course, I get an additional star per turn. You know, my stars per turn now, if you see this 33 number, above that is 12. So each turn I get a new set, you know, I get 12, 12 stars. Um, so... Do I want to be aggro and go straight for chivalry? I could, because I can afford it right now. I could then at least buy, you know, that would cost me 10, so I get 23 plus another 13. So that leaves me 10 stars in the back, and then I can buy a knight for 10. So that would... Spend all my money, but I would get one knight, which would be good because I would then be able to get at least one city right now um, and start expanding. I'd have to deal with the rest of these bots. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do that because we like to be aggro. So now we're getting chivalrous up in here. Um, yep. And turn. That's nice, the bots will have a freak out. Oh, that's not nice, you attack me. Oh, jeez. Okay, so Mandy, somehow, I've never seen a bot do this this fast, has its version of a knight already, and it's this giant bug thing that explodes um, and is really aggressive. Uh, but I don't think I can kill that in 
with one go because this knight this knight so you can see the like different strengths everything has so this knight has an attack of 3.5 um which means oh i can't remember the math igor like did the formula once and you have to memorize it but off the top of my head if i hit this this creature with 20 health points with my 10 health point uh with my knight of a strength of 3.5 attack uh i think that would yeah that would take 10 health points so it would leave it with 10 left and i don't this little warrior can only move one this boy can move two and also attack it but it means it will still be alive and that's just silly to do this so i think i would be better to go after aquarian down here um because you know why not so i can give him a little bosh like that oh shit brutal see now i messed up i can't get my knight in there this is the tragedy of tragedies uh because there's some there's there's so much like complications with how the movements work uh so this is a mountain which so a knight can usually move three squares in one movement they're, they're like most traversing things there is um unless it hits forest which is underneath this this like algae stuff or it hits um uh mountain and that's why because i put this guy here stupidly i now can't get in to uh Neplan to attack this because i would have killed both of those guys right now so screwed up so i'm just going to tilt attack Samanti, <laughs> this big fat thing just because i don't want it around anyway um but the tragedy yeah. is oh might this might actually work yes oh shit <laughs> okay so I'm going to take this and take it city, but Samanti, one of its units, is this thing called a shaman. And a shaman basically mind melds other units into thinking they're on its tribe. So this guy in defense now is going to bosh my, my knight and turn it into an insect knight. Uh, sorry, my, uh, rider and turn it into an insect rider. So it looks good right now, but I'm not going to take the city on this turn. But, you know, say la vie. Uh... And then even worse, I now can't because this city, you see these three dots? That means that all the city is full up in terms of the amount of population it can support. There are three, it's supporting all three of my units, or three of my four units. Um, and until I level it up to the next level, I can't add another unit. So if I want to make a knight, I have to do it over here, which is then multiple turns away in terms of getting there. So um, everything's just a big old mess right now. So you know what, I think... Let's, uh, let's see if we can buy Rhodes. Yeah, okay. Rhodes is going to sort this out. So Rhodes lets you connect your cities uh, together. Um, and that means that units can travel. It doubles the distance that units can naturally travel. Really useful. Uh, it also means they can travel straight through forest uh, without getting held up. Um, so also good. Uh, but... Man, there's not much I can do. Okay, let's just go on to the next turn. Get some more of that money. See, look at that. Now Samanti's pissed. Yeah, they've gone and done this. Kiku has accept offered me a peace treaty. Very sweet. Um, so this is this new update that they've just released called Diplomacy. Uh, and I have not, re I haven't really played any games that use it yet. And this is one of the reasons why I fell off the wagon to to you know get back into the game again because what diplomacy does is it enables you to you know let's say you're playing with eight of your friends you can you know if you have a you know a text thread or whatever um you can discuss with each other whether or not you want to actually like align uh, make an alliance for a little while uh, and to go after someone else who's getting too strong um, which adds like a whole other level of complexity to already a very complex game which i love um uh but it's just funny that bots want to do it with me because all these bots suck like if yeah i i haven't really figured out what the elo rankings are what they really correspond to in terms of like world classness yet but um i would guess that like a truly exceptional player of this game right now is probably around 1700 um the the best bots they have on here is probably like a 950 so and i'm right now ranked around 1400 although my real elo no, I would say this, but it's definitely a lot higher than that. Um, it's just because I've been playing against uh, games against my friends, two of whom are probably the best in the world, and uh, but they haven't been playing, and so their ELOs are like 
falsely at a thousand and it's been very upsetting because they've been farming my ELO and dragging it down to bring theirs up. So uh, that's a very sad time. So anyway, do I want to accept Kiku's peace treaty? No, I don't. Go away. Um, it's very cute of them. Oh, look. So now, do we want to just mess up Symanti? So I've got two options what I do with this knight. I can go over and take the spider thing. It's called a hexapod. And I can then also take this Aquarian who's sweating it, going pink. Um, or I can just go in here and deal with Symanti's thing that it took and also kill its shaman so it doesn't do this again. And then on the next turn, uh, I will um, take, this, take this city almost certainly. Um, I'm going to build a warrior here because warrior has better defense. Oh wow, have we got an eagle? Open signal. <laughs> then I can talk to you. Are you going to whisper? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Eagles. Are you open I'm an open signal. Yeah, yeah. Eagles phobic of being on the stream for some reason. Uh, but he's asking me to open signal because our group games are starting, uh, and he wants me to play those while I live stream with you all, um, which will be probably more entertaining for you to watch, but also more stressful for me because these guys, Igor is. Eagles for sure top 10 in the world. And then the other two who, um, you know, you don't know who they are. Uh, they are also top 10 in the world. And one of them is probably number one. Um, he's, he's, he's so insanely good. I've, I've literally never beaten him. Um, uh, so we've got this, this like four way group going right now. Um, and I'm, you're gonna get to watch me play against them and lose every game. It's gonna be really, really cool. Um, all right. Well, see, now I want to finish this one, though, Igor. Because you can't leave a game... You can't leave a, a continent unconquered. This is how it goes. Um, all right. Fine. Let me go back to menu, see what's happening with this, and in the meanwhile, uh, answer some questions, because that's a lot of speaking I've done. Wait, okay, what have we got here? I'm just looking at the chat. Okay, it didn't count. What are people asking? All right, ask me some questions, people, for a minute while I try and figure out these other games and I'll answer some of them. Robbie Wakelin, our Lake Man, asks, am I going to the WSOP this year? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I can't play the main event, uh, sadly, which I think will actually be the first time I've ever missed the main event in 12 years, except for the one that didn't happen, obviously, during COVID. Um, but a friend, a friend is having their uh, wedding. Can't miss it. Uh, it's a poker friend as well, and they scheduled it during the main event, which is interesting. But um, either way, I'm, I'm very excited to go to the wedding, so not going to play that. Um, my brain still thinks I'm going to win the main event someday, which is just ridiculous. Uh, and so I, I, it always hurts to not play it. But i um, uh, going to go and, I don't know when, probably sometime in June and play a few events. Because, uh, yeah, I kind of miss poker actually a little bit. It's nice. Now I don't play at all. I actually want to play. Uh, I haven't gotten that same mindset with Polytopia. Oh, that's a good question. ECN Ivo asks, any transferred skills from poker to Polytopia? Um, I mean, there must be, just because poker is obviously about like thinking, you know, you're, you're, it's all about levels, right? If you're, if you have a mental model of your opponent, you want to like think, okay, well, they're gonna be thinking about doing this kind of thing, so I want to be thinking one step ahead. You don't want to be like two levels above them, for example. So like leveling is definitely a thing. Um, I mean, basic mental arithmetic. In poker, you're always having to add up the pot quickly. You have to do a bit of mental arithmetic with this. Um, just like calculating how many stars you'll have on the next turn, you know, how much money you have to spend um, and making sure you don't overspend or underspend right now. Um, but it, I mean, what's, what's like what's the like really art the artistry in polytopia is there's so many different 
permutations of how you could play out any given like you know let's say you're you're gonna attack an opponent there's so many like the order in which you move your pieces the order in which you string together your attack or like you know decide to you know you could go east instead of west um like you could utilize mountainous terrain or not um it, it's it's extraordinary it, like it's one of these games that in the beginning you're like oh this is so simple there's no there's no depth to it but the more you get the more you get into it and then the better players you start playing against it, it becomes very apparent um you know like you, you can go I, I haven't seen the bottom of how deep you can go um and especially like playing as these you know the my games crew uh like i'm consistently astonished at like oh wow there's this new strategy that blah 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 thought of and this is now the counter to it and then it's like wait but this and of course now they've just added this diplomacy uh layer on top um which has like these new units called cloak and dagger uh which is i don't even know how those work yet um so yeah there's there's quite a few uh good transferable skills uh have i read maria konnikova's the book uh the biggest bluff not only have i read it i reviewed it in nature mag uh what nature journal uh, should be called Nature Magazine these days uh, for reasons I won't say. But um, no, I reviewed her book and it's incredible. I think I, I, it was the most enjoyable poker read I think I've ever had. Uh, if anyone hasn't read it, I highly recommend it. Um, she's, she's just such a talented writer and her story is so interesting. Um, Paolo asks, is there any AI behind Polytopia? Uh, yeah, there's... Um, so the bots that you play against are literally you know, AIs, admittedly not very smart ones, well, one AI that does its thing. Um, but uh, yeah, there's there's AI behind it. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, one of these uh, big AI companies creates a Polytopia bot. I mean, if I was wanting to build uh, a general purpose AI, it's probably a good game to do it on. Uh, what is here? Have I played this with a Tesla yet? I have. Yeah, it's a very good way to pass the time if you're waiting for something. Um, how does it compare to games like Civ? I haven't really played Civ, uh, so I can't answer that. I've heard it's great. Um, but I believe Civ isn't, you don't like, it's, it's not so much a sort of a zero sum, you need to capture the whole, maybe it is, I don't know. Um, I, I don't even know why I'm trying to answer this question because I just don't know. Um, all right, so uh, oh, Igor says your video is missized a bit by ten to twenty percent wider. Both of the feeds are ten to twenty percent too wide. Oh, they are fat. Look at that. Ugh. I don't want to be wide. I don't know how to change that. That's just, this is a thing. I mean, I'm using Streamlabs and it doesn't look like this. It's, it's doing a stretchy. Why would it do that? It knows it's YouTube. Um, all right, well, I'm, I'm wide, wide girl today. Uh, and Polytopia is squished, but say lovey. Um, okay, so apparently none of our games are going yet. Let me just write some shit to them to get this going. Um, are they playing or what? All right, so let's go back to some gameplay. Um, you know what? Shall I, shall I? Okay, I'll finish this bot game. Just I'll whiz through it. Stop it, Kiku! Man, look at this. They really want it. Really, really just want peace. Meanwhile, Samanti is just being a nightmare. Somehow spawning a thing over and over. Wow, this is actually a really bad start I'm off to. Um, okay, let's build some roads. Uh, they've also nerfed the knights. They used to have 15 health, and now they've only got 10, which is actually quite bad. Um... I just can't have this creature be this strong, so I'm gonna do it even though it's gonna give it a whack. All right, new knight. Um, and oh, I still can't level this up yet. Um, 
So that was the Simanti creature exploding. Because that's what it loves to do. Um, you, my friend, can disappear. Uh, see, now this is annoying. This knight, usually it can kill anything with a 10 health point. But you see the shield around his, um, around his health score? That means it has a defense bonus. And that basically just, just tips it over the edge so that it can't be killed with one hit from a knight. So I need to hit it with two knights uh, in order to take that city, which is kind of annoying. Um, so I'm just going to copy-paste some knights, and then we'll be able to take care of this problem on the next turn. Um, can I buy... Yeah, let's buy some organization for the next one so I can get this fruit and level up these cities. That's nice. My god! Alright, Samanti, so well... Sorry, mate. That's enough. Uh, I'll take you. But now, actually... Okay, yeah, this isn't, this is a, oh shit. So I cut, so I've got a dilemma here. I can kill this and string together, you know, I'll kill that and then I'll also give this a, you know, take away half its health points. But now and then I'll leave the city unoccupied again. Um, and because there's forest here, I can't move this boy into the empty city. Um, so I have to decide whether I, I think it's probably still better to actually just kill this and this. Ooh. So take that away and then this little arrow means I've hit I've had three kills with that unit so it upgrades to veteran and now it has 15 health point which is always cool uh, let's level this up first get the five stars bam <laughs> Kiopo asks how many hours have you and Igor played this game total uh, hang on let me ask Igor Igly, Igly, how many hours have we played this game total? The people want to know. <laughs> Let's see what his Fermi estimate comes back with. It's not going to be good. It's a, it's, a, it's a worrying number. And see if he tells the truth, actually. Oh, sick, I can take this city. All right, in we go. Bam. <laughs> he says 100, question mark. Total, that means 50 hours each. Yeah, it's not a bad guess. Mm. I know, my gut says over. I think he's being conservative to try and uh, keep some semblance of, you know, a reputation. <laughs> um, all right, fuck it, let's print another night. Okay, I have never seen Samanti. I don't know how Samanti is this bloody rich in a bot game on turn 13, but it's got four Dumuxes. This is, this is insane. I, <laughs> what's going on? Um, wow. I picked the wrong fight, it seems. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, this is just a catastrophe. Fucking hell. I might even lose this bot game because I've never seen Samanti do this. Oh, I should probably stop swearing, right? Is that, is this, uh, I don't know how it works. Probably gonna get told off or something by YouTube. I love a tell off. Uh, all right, I need to pay attention so that I don't actually have something terrible happen here. That's nice. Yeah, this is appalling. Appalling out. I, I, I just. Like, Igor, have you e ever seen anything like this on a bot game? It's got two super units, six Doomuxes. I, I just don't get it. I, I'm like actually astonished. I, I don't know what's going on. Like, this is, pardon the pun, a bug. It, it just. It should not have this many units. <laughs> um okay this is this is a bad time this is dark 
I just hope that Samanti goes after another tribe and leaves me alone. But it's got the taste of my blood. Like if we go to, um, wait, what? Why is it not showing? Wait, what? Okay, cool. No, Hudrick. Um, yeah, this is just an absolute catastrophe. Samanti taking my city. My God, my games crew will never let me live this down. This is just an abysmal turn of events. And I can't even take it, I can't even get this guy through because that's in the way. All right. <laughs> hey, it's got more, it's just, you know, more. Oh, another one. Cool. Just enjoy yourself, Samanti. That boy's leveling up. Okay, I'm gonna have to buy climbing so that this guy can go here. <sighs> Give that a bosh. Give that a bosh. Give that. And then I can't, I still can't take it. This is madness. All right, fine, take that. Wow, like, Samantha, you're just gonna win. And for some reason it won't show me what the different tribes scores are on this. My light just fell down. Am I in darkness now? Oh. The universe is imploding. Like, how did that just fall down? This is so weird. Uh, Luke Strakop is saying I need to build walls. I mean, I really don't. Like, this is so unusual. Uh, where's my screen gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. Um, well, I'm gonna actually just lose to a Samanti bot, and that's that's gonna be all she wrote. All right, fine. I I'll I'll take my loss in in style. With just sheer embarrassment. Let it be. I'm just gonna be trapped in this little corner of land. Kill me. Just, you know. Uh, Antonin asks, do I ever train mind vendors? Um, very rarely. Like, there's spots if people are attacking you with their slow giants, mind vendors are useful. Um, Yadak established an embassy in my capital. It will give you both two stars per turn. See, this is I don't know any of this stuff yet. Uh, an embassy in my capital gives both two stars per turn. The income is doubled if you have a peace treaty. I mean, I don't even know where Yadak are. I can't see them. I mean, sure, we can have a peace treaty. But I won't... Oh, there we go. All right, let's have a peace treaty. Let's do it, bro. Oh, I have to... No, okay, see, I have to buy diplomacy and all that, and I'm in way too much trouble to be doing even any of that stuff. <sighs> so I'm just gonna take that. Okay, let's put you here. Oh, that was a mistake. <sighs> yeah, everyone's getting destroyed by Samanti. What else is new? Yeah! Have peace. Uh, okay. Alright, you know what? That's enough of this game. Let's go to a real person game. It's gonna be much more fun. So, um uh, All right, I'm gonna play against humans. Igor, do you wanna play? I mean, I, I hate playing against Igor because he's so good. Um, all right, let's start a random match. But, so, oh, this is a problem because I can't create, I can't scroll down um, and, oh, it's now letting me, nice, okay, cool. So, let's just do any and see what match we can get. Glorious sleds. Hugong. Oh, see, they've got really low ELO, 1023. 
and you know randomly sometimes these people are actually quite good and then you lose to them and they just take shit tons of your ELO so I want to find someone with uh, a better ELO oh Hugh let's see if I can get you or... oh okay let's see what we got here uh, you from swords what are you like oh no definitely not get out of here bro uh Where's Igor? New game. Alright, Igor. Let's have a little game. Igor, look away while I pick who my tribe is. You don't want your opponent to see what tribe you're playing until, you know, as late as possible. Um, because then they have the information they don't deserve. Uh, start game. Look away, Igor. Starting a game with you. <sighs> what should I be? I want to pick one of the strongest ones against him because, you know, why would I cripple myself? Um, and it's continents, so you want something that's decent on water. Samanti's not very good on water, generally speaking. If it was just land, Samanti would be great. Um, but usually you want Kiku or Bardo. Um, Okay, pick. Let's do Bardo again. Uh, all right, fine. Let's play against this guy because we can need a few more games going. Oh, he's black. Oh, so he's blocked Samanti and Illyrion. Fine. You know what? Let's do Kiku with you. Let's get started. So very similar spawn to last time. Level up city, off we go. Eagle should play immediately. Play fast now. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I'll have a look at the chat. What have we got? <laughs> Nice. So people are oh, so quite a few people are fans of um, Polytopia by those things. I like that. Uh, oh, Uber Dude was you. I'm sorry, Uber Dude. Konzo, start a new game. We'll play. Uh, I didn't realize it was one of you guys. Um, yeah, start start a game. I'll uh, I'll play against you. Eagle, make your move. Wow. Very bad. Uh, yeah, good point, Gov Go Corp Watch. That, you know, the, the bot game, I did have a fairly bad spawn. Like, down, you don't really want to be stuck on a peninsula that's sort of surrounded by mountains because now you, you, you don't have many routes out. Um, you generally just want to expand as quickly as possible. Um, particularly against weak players, you can kind of spread yourself thin. It's not really a problem. Um, and I couldn't, I was like cornered in against like Samanti on crack, uh, apparently. Um, yeah. Wow. I bet like the reason why we're having to wait for Sir Kurganov is because he's got so many other games going. He's like, he just couldn't possibly wait the, the three seconds for me to make my move. Stay in the game. Too slow. Uh, hey, Tony. I don't know if you can play this game on VR. <laughs> Wait, fake Tim Urban. I don't know if that's actually real Tim, but some Tim Urban asks, would I do ASMR videos? I can't stand ASMR videos. I have the opposite of whatever everyone who watches them has. You know, like uh, some people were showing me one of them. It's like this chick chewing into the microphone, like gum, but even like chicken and other things. And apparently people get off to this. I, I it's, 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 like truly makes my skin crawl. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I can make an ASMR video if you want to watch me dry heaving um, at my own sounds. I guess some people are into that. Uh, okay, Igor, you are the nut low. I I've never seen someone take this long. Uh, all right, Hugong. Wow, why do I keep spawning in the bottom left? This is this is weird. Usually, I mean, you can spawn anywhere on the on the map. Um, <sighs> Jesse's score, score says say sk, 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 and tap on the desk for us. I will not. No. All right, let's try and get some more games going. So we've just got a nice rotation. Uh, whoever the Konzo, Uber dude, start a new game. Let's see if anyone else is online. Music audio volume, by the way. Uh, I want it like I had it quiet just in case I get boshed by YouTube's copyright thing. Um, I think this is copyright free music, but you just never know. I don't know if it's at that like level where it's just annoying and you can only hear the treble. Um, and I think I also have it playing from the speakers into my microphone as opposed to like just you know the direct feed because uh, you know. Man, why is my stream fat? Why, why am I, this is like, ugh, compression. Oh, hell, thanks, Igor. Thanks for doing that thing you told me to do, you know, to my first live stream in years. Uh, all right. Let's play this. Uh, Igor has informed me he has closed my stream uh, so that he's not seeing my, uh, 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 see what I'm doing. All right, in turn. Music is fine. Wow. Why are you so slow? Okay, let's start some more matches. Desert of Pumali. What's your ELO? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Fine. Okay, so this is a small like map size, 121 tiles. Uh, so these these small maps. You don't even want to play, pick a tribe that has a very good early start, but it doesn't matter if it's weak in the end game. So again, that usually comes down to like Barda, um, Samanti, Kiku. Yeah, I'll probably just do Samanti because you guys haven't seen seen me play it yet. You've seen me get crushed by a 30 IQ bot. That's really good first impression. Oh wait, did I, I didn't misclick, did I? Okay, good. That wasn't bad. Uh, so, Samanti, you start, you generally, you know, you just move your guy out. Um, so you start moving in a direction. This is fungi. So fungi gr grows by one blip per turn. Um, so you don't get to level up to, you know, this. You, my city won't level up on the first turn like it does with like tribes like Bardor and Kiku. Um, it will take two turns to level up. Um, which is a slight disadvantage, but the th the nice thing about fungi is that it will produce three uh, population, which are these little dots here, um, per t uh, once it's fully grown. 
So it's actually quite a valuable resource. Um, and that's the thing that um, Samanti comes starting with. Oh. Okay, Fergals is here. Let's go out there. Uh, let's buy this so that it's cheaper for the next time. Okay, level up. So I'll now buy a warrior um, because the nice thing about a shaman is not only does it convert your opponent's tribe um, to your side, uh, you know, your opponent's unit to your side, uh, they can also do this thing called boost, which basically strengthens your, uh, your little guy's powers. Um, so you can see here, normally its attack is two, but uh, it'll now be 2.5 and its defense is actually doubled so um, will be four so actually really strong defense um, and it gets to move by two squares instead of one like it usually does uh, so just generally good shit and a lot of people have um, including my friend group uh, hate when people play Samanti because they think it's too overpowered it's probably true uh, it was definitely too overpowered when it was first released about nine months ago um, or a year ago, uh, but they've nerfed it a bunch, but it might, it's probably still in, uh, insufficient, the nerfing. Um, it's just really strong in the beginning because you can buy these cheap spider units. Um, but you know, okay. Let's see how this eagle game's going. Uh, let's go up this direction. And you just generally want to be as expanding as quickly as possible, getting vision. Finding new cities, level up this. So now I'm seven stars per turn. I'm in first place. So yeah, barely. So I, you know, that, the unknown tribe, we know that's Eagle. We don't know what he's playing, but I can see how many. So that's how you can keep track of like how far advanced your opponents are is it shows their, what their score would be. Um, you know, but it doesn't give you that much granularity, but that means I know for certain he's already got a second city. Um, uh, no, I don't know what tribe he's playing. Knowing Igor, he's probably playing Yadak, just because he, he wants to be edgy. Um, let's go over here. That's nice, handy. Uh, and I'll buy another warrior. I can't really afford anything else. And it's good to have two units already doing my their expansion. Hugonging! Come on, mate. Oh, wow, Igor's. All right. We've got we've got a fully committed eagle now. Nice. Oh 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 oh. So that now I know where Igor is. He's right. He's he's right in here because he's just taken this land. Um. So now we need to think. Because I could go straight in. He's actually playing Bardor by the looks of things, because yeah, just judging by the color of that border. That's usually a color that they would use for if he's playing the same tribe as me and it's like an alternative color, uh, you know, kind of like team suits, um, which means he probably has a warrior in there. So if he had one of these riders in his city, which is in this square here, uh, I could go and attack and I would take that city right now and that'd be amazing. But if he has a warrior in there, I would attack and he would have one health remaining so I don't get to take it and meanwhile I've taken a bunch of damage and wasted these two units so it's a bit of a decision right now <sighs> the thing is he knows I'm here because he sees this border you know along here um ugh, this is tricky I think I actually want to wait I'm gonna take this city it's really tempting because I do just like I hate giving him a, an inch I think I'm gonna buy another unit um, I might just, maybe I should just go all out on units right now because he's so close. Yeah, I think that's a play. Uh, yeah. And I could, so if I move forward, I'll see him and then I'll get the stars from him. But there's not much I can do right now. I could buy forestry. No, I think it's the right play to just wait. If I have a bias in this game, it's definitely that I'm like, too aggressive and um, that's definitely my weakness oh oh here we go well this is going to be the big four-way game 
between uh, the people who do good. Um, all right, so we blocked out Kiku, Bardo, and Samanti. Mm. What do we want to do? Okay, so it's 400 tiles. So that's a really big map. The biggest map is 900 tiles, which is just insane. Um, the smallest is 121 tiles. Uh, and it's lakes. So usually that means... It, lakes is really annoying because it's like... With continents, again, you're playing four people almost always. You'll all four, four of you, if the map is big enough, will start on your own separate continent. So it's kind of like fairly equal footing. But lakes is really random. And there'll sometimes be water. You might get really unlucky and just be stuck in this big fat lake, like trapped behind a big lake. And your friends are, you know, everyone, all your opponents aren't, so they can expand easily and you can't. Um, so there's a lot more randomness in this. Uh, which is good because it will be a really handy excuse for me when I, you know, if I lose, I can just blame my spawn. Uh, th so that's a skill that, that crosses over from poker. You just blame the cards, blame the spawn. Um, uh, I hate this thing. Can I go for Yadak? So Yadak, you get roads with first, which means you get like really fast, you know, you get double movement early on. Um, and it kind of gets you uh, carry advantage, but then Amarji, you start with riding, which sounds good, but their economy is generally really shit. Hang on, I lost my thing. Um, sorry, like this, this matters. You don't understand. Like I, I have to pick the right tribe here. This is quite a decision. I could go really controversial and go with like Polaris. So they're like the ice people. They're kind of like the White Walkers and. Uh, Game of Thrones in that basically it's like they just slowly turn everything to ice as they expand and you have to kill them really fast otherwise they just get too strong but they're really weak in the beginning it would be fun to play Polaris against them but I'm not very good with Polaris but I kind of want you guys to see it uh, alright screw it I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be Polaris uh, what's going on in this Samanti game Oh, hey! Thanks for the money, bro. Um, uh, probably just want to kill you right now. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get some writing, get some spiders up in here. Oh, shit. Uh, I can't buy another unit because I've only my city's only got three and it's gonna it'll level up on the next time I can buy a new one. Dikun asks, is Aquarian good for lakes maps? Um no. Aquarian's Aquarian's really only good they're 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 probably best either water world or continents. Um or uh, archipelago, however you say it, um, because they they're obviously like at their strongest on water, but they um, they're really hard to build an economy with. So you do need a way to build cities, which is why actually Waterworld is kind of bad for them. Funny enough, because they don't they just there's very few cities in Waterworld um, compared to other ones. Um, they're generally just a pretty weak tribe, unless I, I, I against another friend I played a very very epic game. Um, uh, oh, I just let, watch this. I'm going to convert him. Come join the bug people, bro. Ah, oh, hey. Um, knife, knife. Uh, okay, let's buy hexapod. Um, yeah, Aquarion, like, they're, they're just really hard to play. Um, they do have very, very strong knight units called Tridentians, um, which have, like, so much movement. They can run in, throw a spear, run out again um so they're just like really hard to catch and you can if you can just like spam those fairly early on in the game then you'll usually win but they're otherwise they're just they're like a kind of pain in the ass to play so i wouldn't recommend them um is there anything else i want to do here no uh we could actually just buy some hunting eat some bugs akuna matata uh, oh here you are we got oh hey 
Oh, he's Yadak. See, I told you he loves Yadak. This is an Igor classic. Oh, he built a wall. See, I told you, bitch move. Um, it's a smart play right now because uh, he knows he's, that city's going to be attacked a bunch. So what I want to do right now, actually, is... I wonder if I'm going to build roads. Man, this is annoying. So to kill this unit, because it's got the wall, it's got four times the usual defense. So it takes so much to kill it. I think... I almost just don't want to attack yet. Although... Let's do this. Go back here. He can recover. Take that in there. And then I think... Let's get forestry. Build up this. Um, I want to think about which forest I want to take because, you know... Uh, it, it, you can either chop them down or turn them into lumber huts. Chopping them down gives you a star that you can spend elsewhere. Doing a lumber hut gives you population, um, and uh, but it costs you money. Uh, but I want there's this thing later on in the game called customs houses, which basically you build by ports, and they give you tons of money per turn, tons of stars per turn. So you, you usually want to think about where you want to build your customs houses, and I might need to clear some of this forest in order to have a spot. Of where I build my ports and customs houses. Although, actually, what size game is this? Oh, it's actually a pretty big game. Wow, I can't believe we're right. We spawned so close to each other on like quite a big map. This is bullshit. Um, and, oh man, look at this. And, okay, I know I said everyone always complains about their spawn, but this is a shitty spawn because <laughs> I'm backed up against the water. He's right there. I'm backed up against the water. Usually, there would be like a city here and a city there and I, I would have access to all of those just like for free and I don't. I'm trapped in a corner next to his fat ass. Um, so this is really annoying. I'm at a, yeah, like look already, he's already ahead of me. Um, even though Bardo usually has a stronger start. Uh, I haven't made any major mistakes as far as I can tell, although I'm sure he'll say otherwise. Um, then... All right, fine. Let's levelize these up. Super tilting. And then I'm gonna chop this. I can build another unit. And then I'm gonna have to build something else to actually attack this that's not just one, you know, I'm gonna, I can keep throwing all my units at it and I, it'll take so many to kill it. I, I wanna like get a catapult or something that I can do remote damage with. Yeah. Um, all right, let's go back to the big game. All right, let's see the spawn. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm playing Polaris against these guys. They're going to laugh at me. Um, so you start in Polaris with this thing called a Mooney, which is pretty useless aside of it moves. <laughs> and it each every other turn, it will freeze water, which is, as I said, kind of what you want to be doing with um, Polaris. Uh, and... What? Thing. That, and that's that's the only thing it starts with. That's why it's so bad. Like I have no other technology. Just, I have this thing called frost work. Like, great. What does that mean? Um, probably gonna just want to go for hunting, but I can't do anything else. I'll do on the next turn. Why would this person do this? They've just left their city open. Is this real? So I don't mean to be rude if this is one of you guys, but that's just atrocious play. Um, all right, well, thanks for giving me the game. Uh, I guess. Cool, thank you. Let's level this up. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go straight for this. You guys haven't seen this yet, but we'll, we'll be going to um, 
and I'll save for that actually I won't buy a unit because for the next turn I'm gonna buy organization and then I'll be able to level up and when I fill up this population on the next go and level up this city from level four to level five you get a super unit which is like the big the big giant thing um, and uh, it's a really powerful unit so I'm just gonna do that um, Hugh Gonning has just had enough um, you can actually kick people if they exceed the time limit, but it's kind of mean, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Mr. Deadman says, this almost seems like ADHD the game. <laughs> ah, kind of. You're not entirely wrong. Um, okay, that's why they let me took the city, because they felt like they could defend it, but it's still a bad play, because... Now, they lost the stars per turn on that. It means they got no stars on that turn. No. And it's their capital city. And I know that because it's underlined. Um, so it's just, just a generally bad time for them. Uh, I can't, oh damn, I only have eight. So if I buy organization, I don't have the four left that I would need to level it up. Uh, so I'm just gonna do this Put it on the next one. And take this. I wonder if I can just win the game on the next go. I think I can, actually. Um. All right, Igor. Let's see how we do this. I don't want to go straight for... Oh, jeez, catapults are so expensive already. Because if I get a cap catapult in here, then I'll just I'll just get I'll take everything. I wonder if I should rush him or continue building my economy. Mm. Mm. One, two. Yeah, I definitely can't do this. Let's recover that. So you can recover units if you don't want to use them that turn. And if they're within your boundary, they get four health points back, which is pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to do this. Just to stress him out a little bit. I'm still not going to attack. Let's level this up. I think I'm gonna go for this mathematics on the next turn, which is where you get catapults. Um, how much do I need? It's 13. Well, uh, I'd have 22 stars, 13. Yeah, that'd be enough to buy a catapult on the next go. I think that's the right play. And he'll be surprised because he doesn't think I would usually contain myself and just not attack him. Oh look, they've so they've built a defender in there because it's really the only thing they can do. Um which is cute. But I mean this guy is just on thin, thin, thin ice. Uh, and now we can actually level up and do the get the super unit. Boom. Nice. Oh, and you get this little thing. So when you level up cities at different stages, certain times you get these things, these like little bonus things, which will, you know, either give you population or stars. Um, and uh, so we can use that. And we'll go ahead and boost this already for the next turn. And that should be enough to be able to take his defender on the next go. Um, or her. I don't know why I'm saying his. Bad habit. Oh, my guy in the big game. So, freeze area. Nice. So, the clock has started. Uh, might as well buy hunting so I can 
level up. Still can't level up. You know, I'm only getting two stars per turn right now, which is just terrible. Um, but slowly, Polaris gets going. Hey, Yeddo. Thanks for joining. Can I put my cam into the bottom right? It looks like I'm staring off into the sky. What do you mean? Oh, I see. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So I move the webcam down here. I just, I, the reason why I put it there is because um, then it, you know, usually the top left of the game is what matters. As a, uh, it doesn't matter as much as the bottom right, but I do agree. This makes more sense. Like I'm looking at the game from your perspective. It's all meaningless anyway, because I'm looking at my monitor. Um, but that is also the game. So yeah, thank you. I, you, this is not your first rodeo. It's very clearly mine. Uh, yeah, I think that looks better. Let me know. Uh, oh, resigned. Oh, so they don't give me the joy of taking it. All right, well, that's still, that's just how we do it. Boof. Boof. Yum. There you go. Finish game. No opponents left. There you go. I see. I only got three ELO points because they've got such a low ELO. Had I lost, a bad thing would have happened. Swamp and blood. No, Kareem, I'm not playing against you right now. That's my friend who's just, he's so annoyingly good. Um, <laughs> and nothing gives me more pleasure than just denying him access to my ELO points. Uh, I am going to do this. Let's move you back. And then let's give you a little bosh. Uh, no ego. Why don't you fuck off? All right. Now we'll see how you like this. Oh, wow, I need to... Okay, cut this down. So I'm cutting that down so I have an extra star so that I can afford to buy a very expensive catapult, which is eight stars. Yeah, I haven't leveled this up. I really need more units. I think I want to stay here. Yeah, I want to stay there so he can't. Uh, I think, oof. Gross, I might not be able to attack on the next turn. How are we doing score-wise? Still beating him. What's your ELO at right now? Okay, his ELO is actually decent now, so I wouldn't lose too much if I lose to him, which I will. Like, this is, this, this is embarrassing. Look at this win ratio. He's won every single one-on-one -on -one game we've ever played. It's bad. I don't want that number to get any bigger. I'm sure he's watching this stream right now, just being smug as anything. Uh, David Potetsky asks, I'm back having not gamed, which should be my first. I assume you mean which tribe you want to play first? Um, I would recommend just start out with Bardor. You just can't really go wrong with them. They're a nice, easy starting. Whoa, the music's being weird. Uh, yeah, start out with Bardor. Um, Alejandro Farina asks, no grind this Sunday, Liv. Uh, I haven't grinded poker on a Sunday in three years, two years. Actually, maybe I did one in 2021. Uh... This is my grind. <laughs> Can't you see? <laughs> this is this is far better. Um, yeah, I haven't grinded. Also, I live in the US now, so I can't. Uh, feel free to keep asking questions. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to retweet my tweet to try and get some more people to come watch. Hang on one second, sorry.
that's done. Paolo asks, does my friend Grimes play Polytopia too? She plays a little, not very much. She's played though. Um, so this is annoying. He's going to take that city. There you go. But how you like that? Uh, and now we do that, and now we do that, and now that city's mine. So, swings and roundabouts, my friend. Swings and roundabouts. I probably make a ride out here. And then I really need to start making roads. The one problem with the catapult is that... It, if you want to use it, you can't move it. And I've got it stuck in that city. So it's stopping me from making more units there, which is definitely annoying. Um, I don't think I'm going to start leveling this up. Um, but yeah, this is actually quite interesting because we're both taking each other's cities at the same time. But IMO, my take is better because his has a city wall. Um, all right, fine, Kareem. You can play. What is this? What tribe do you want me to play? Um, uh, what should we do? What should we do? Let's do some IMO. IMO are fun because they're meditation. They, meditation is what they start with. They're very peaceful people. Uh, live in the mountains. Um, and meditation is a weirdly good, uh, well, it's, it's quite good because it makes the rest of your technologies, if you have it, 20% cheaper. Um, so it's actually somewhat strong. Ooh, okay. But it, again, it's like kind of a slow start. All right, where do we want to go here? Let's maybe expand out this way. Um, okay, finally, we can level the city up. It thinks I'm in first, which is just comical. Man, what the hell tribe did they all pick? Um, I don't know what is with these bottom left spawns I keep having. This is really unusual. Uh, so because I don't have anything, any technologies aside of meditation. Um, oh yeah, it's philosophy is the one you want. Philosophy is one where it gets you 20% off everything. Um, and because you're already like down on this tree, you know, it's only seven stars you need to pay in order to get it. Whereas normally you'd have to buy five and then six and then seven. You know, you have to buy the whole arm. Um, probably let's go. What is it? Yeah, we're gonna go for hunting. Um, so we can start leveling up. Let's see what Igor's up to. Ow! Ow. <sighs> the misery. Ugh. God damn it. And then he's gone there, so now I have to take... I have to... Bosch's horse with this. I can't even take this city because catapults don't have any defense. So he basically destroys it on the next move. So I have to kill this. And then I don't get to use it on this. So just everything's bad. And he's just, he just gets everything he needs, this boy, doesn't he? Okay. Ooh, that's important. All right. You come back here. Um, let's do that. Okay. Pump this up. Mm. I think I need to just go for a giant. That's my one hope. to get fishing so I can man this is a 
disaster. All right, let's make a rider. Told you, horrible spawn. I'm about to get a horrible spawn against Kareem as well. Oh, actually, this is this is actually fine. Um, um, Ten Prodos asks, "What's this 4D cube?" Well, you have just answered it. Look at this. Isn't this the best representation of a tesseract you've ever seen? I also have a matching necklace. Um, yeah, I, I found it on the, like some 3D printing sculpture site. I got this and this, uh, this is like some kind of 120 cell work of art as well. Um, but yeah, this, I, I've just, there's so many different ways to represent a tesseract because obviously you can't actually represent four, di four dimensions in our little universe. Um, you can only like, you do a you know do a, a slice of it essentially and that's what this is this is a slice in 4d um but isn't it beautiful I, i'm it's the best I, I don't like my brain can't really handle it so that means they're doing it right um i really love it uh i got it on a site called shapeways i think it was um yeah it's good stuff mm. Finally, I find a second city. That was arduous. Uh, I probably want to get a warrior and start expanding to the left. Okay, there's not enough games. Let's get another random match. See if we can find someone. Iciest cash. What's your deal? Oh. Dude. No. Sorry, it's too big of a game. Uh. So I can't buy any tech because I don't have enough money. Um, I wonder if I actually want to wait leveling up and just, yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to wait leveling up because if I do, then I can afford philosophy on the next turn, which gets 20% off on everything else I'm going to need to buy and I'm going to need to buy a lot. So that might be the play. Because all I would get if I took the city right now is one additional star. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to wait. Maybe... Yeah, I don't even want to buy another unit. I think it's really important to buy philosophy as quickly as possible. Let's see if we can get a, another person. By the way, if this is any of you who are sending me matches, uh, just type in the chat that it's you, and I will accept. Is this one of you guys? Because I am getting a lot of random requests. Uh, I'll wait until you reply. I don't normally get random requests, so this is probably one of you all. Okay, let's buy some philosophy. Philosophical. All right, we have gone into first place. It's not me, but my friend who is playing this game is also not this person. What? Is this a riddle? Harame, it's not me, but my friend who is playing this game is also not this person. Okay, so it's none of you, right? So I will decline, but it is strange that I'm getting I just don't, I don't want to play a 900 tile map. I'll play something small, but this is a bit silly. Um, so yes, I was correct that it was not any of you. Or anyone even that you know. It's just... 
I don't know what's more difficult, understanding the cube or this game. Uh, definitely the cube is tougher. Like, like how? How do you de how do you design this? It's it's so good, it's so good. Like I haven't grown bored of it yet, and I grow bored of things quickly. Um, uh, Uber dude, you want to be my friend? I accept. You can be my friend. Uh, yeah, start start a game with me. We can. Uh... Oh, I got altar of peace. See, that's nice. Um, and that means. So I, you get Ultra of Peace if you don't do any attacks for five turns, which I have not. So that means I can now level up that city for free, which is important because I ain't got any money. Ooh, now we have a decision. I think we want to go for forestry. That's going to be more useful. Um, well, it is expensive. Six. Yeah, I think forestry is still going to be better. Then I can level up this city. Um, and then I think I'm going to cut down this so I can make another unit. So, oh, that's another cool thing. Now I have philosophy. I can make these units called mind benders, which are kind of like shaman with Samanti, and that they can, uh, um, uh, mind bend to you know make people come on your t on your side. Oh, you want to play a glory game, Uber dude? Uh, sure. Uh, you get to see which tribe I'm playing. But that's that's the nature of the beast. Um, 196 dry land. Probably want to play some anti on that then. Oh, you left. All right. Oh, it's fine. We can play Glory. I, I don't mind. Um, Glory is basically... Oh, shit. <sighs> oh, Eagle, you suck so much. <sighs> okay, my only hope here is to, like, go for... Chivalry? I mean, I'm in the shit. Because if I did this, I can disband that catapult and get four stars back, which would make this only a f four purchase which was good i really have to take care of this issue yeah yeah i don't know yeah uh -uh. Uh, this is a very bad time yeah yeah Vosh. Okay, yeah, I think I need to do that because I've got to go to, I've got to get up to chivalry. So now I will disband this. I get four stars back. Uh, I really need to level up this city. Um, Oi. so annoying to play against. I hope you see this spawn, Igor. Six days? Wow. All right. Let's go. There's Kareem. Thank you for your purchase. I'll go there. He can't get through, so that's nice. So now I can recover him. Um... So he has got Illyrion. So Illyrion's special power. Illyrion are like the elf people, and they have um, they start off with unicorns, <laughs> which are basically like really good. They're really they're, they're cheap. They can buy them for just two two stars, and they have really powerful attack, but pretty weak defense. Um, which means I probably want to. Now that I know he's up there. We want a bum rush. I think I definitely need to get riding at the very least. Um, but actually, this is annoying because the only way I can access him is down here. Which actually means I maybe want to go water. Uh, either way, I need to start exploring down there. Um. 
that's definitely correct. Uh, what else? I do like that he can't easily get down on me, but that is a double-edged sword, so I think... Oh, man, I hate playing against Kareem. He's always got the right move. I think I want to buy another unit here and go up that way to the north. Jason Duval in the chat. What's up, baby chien? Ça va? Uh, all right, let's play this eagle move. Let's see what horrible like he's just got units coming out of his ass. Like, how is this possible? Oh God. Okay, this is this is this is a tragedy. Oh, I hate everything. He's so pleased with himself. He's like, look at this. He's just got me completely surrounded. Write something to him. Are you pleased? Ha 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 ha! He says. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Come up and show your face. <laughs> God, this is awful. Like he, I bet he's gonna take a screenshot of this because this is just like it's 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 not just winning, it's like w smearing me across the road and driving over my corpse twenty times and then feeding it to ha like letting animals eat it off the tarmac. How do you like my little formation? He says that's nice. All right, well that's the end of that game. Uh, oh, you know what? I should resign it so that he doesn't get the pleasure. There you go. Um, all right, let's play with this. Okay, so now we go we get into that city. Nice. And I think we want to head... This looks more fruitful. There's, there's more land this way than to the right. Is there anything else I can be doing here? Probably want to get into forestry. See, look at this. This is the problem with Polaris. I'm already in fourth place. Um... Which is a very bad start. They have a terribly slow start, but if you can get them going, they're so good. But this isn't a very water-heavy map. I think I made a mistake, and yeah, it's lakes. Yeah, it's definitely a mistake playing them. Um, but it's good for you guys to see. Uh, ooh, do I want, yeah, we don't need to start attacking yet, so I think we just do this. How do I like Austin? I love it. It's so nice. It's getting really hot though, but uh, yeah, it's great. Um, the weather's nice, there's deer everywhere. Uh, it's just all very pleasant. So, with Kareem, do I want to go? We definitely want to go exploring down here, nice. And do I want to go to the north or do I want to go this way? That's the question. I think I want to go this. Knowing him, knowing him, he's probably going to come down this route to attack me. I don't think he would go across there and there. So I want to start. Oh, interesting. So he can't cross that way. I think I want a little bit of a line because if he attacks me with his unicorn, it's going to take a lot of that guy's health. But then if I've got someone as backup up behind, I think that's what you want. All right, I really need to focus on economy then in this case. I haven't leveled up this city yet, and that needs to happen. Um, so we go into organization and get some of this yummy, get some chili peppers, fruit. I just love how, like, there's so much detail. Like, every tribe has a different kind of fruit. Uh, different kind of animal. It's just, I just think, I, even though it's very blocky, I, I just think the aesthetics are wonderful of this game. Um, right. 
feel free to keep asking me questions. They don't have to be about Polytopia, by the way. Um, it's about many other things. The universe. I don't know. I can't guarantee I'll be able to answer them, but feel free. Uh, Igor's telling me I need to talk to my viewers a bit more, answer more questions. You haven't asked me many questions in a while, so do ask more. Um... Thanks, Igor, for your backseat driving of how to do a stream. You let me know if you want to take the reins. Um, is there any wiki to learn playing Polytopia? Yes. If you just Google Polytopia wiki, I think it has all the info there. But honestly, like, I just learned by cl clicking around. Just go play like a bot game. Um, but uh, yeah, the wiki the wiki's pretty comprehensive. Um, what's the meaning of life? Create more emergent complexity and thus utility within what seems to be an otherwise fairly empty universe. Um, so that it has interesting information that is being processed. That seems like the meaning of life to me. Um... What podcast do I listen to? I've just listened to a really great one today uh, on the Andrew Huberman podcast. Uh, he, who He's a neuroscientist. Um, uh, he's, he's really one of the best. Like, uh, in terms of, like, sort of, as a highly technical topic com uh, communicator into layman's terms, I've never seen he can just do these monologues for two hours. Uh, similar to, like, Sean Carroll, who's this incredible uh, cosmologist. Um, but anyway, yeah, this was about basically how to improve your focus and attention and memory and it turns out the best way to do that is through exercising every single day ideally in the morning before you work and then doing cold exposure um it's really just very there's like tons of empirical evidence to support just how good it is um which is not what everyone wants to hear it's like i want to hack but that is the hack uh so it inspired me to go for a run today which i haven't done in a while um, and I have to say, I'm feeling pretty on. Uh, I definitely feel good. Um, yeah. Kreiser asks, how much do I lift, bro? Your biceps look toned. I lift 55 kilos uh, climbing. That's what I lift. And it does a pretty good job. Um, I see. see. I'm not thinking now. See, Igor, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to try and beat Kareem? Or do you want me to talk to people? Um... It's, it's difficult. I actually am enjoying talking to you guys more. Uh, what do I think of... Ooh, these are good questions. Um, what do I think of Eric Weinstein's uh, geometric unity? <sighs> My priors suggest it, you know, because it's, it's quite a out there theory. Um, so my priors would say that it's unlikely to be correct, but I've met Eric once and he's really brilliant so smart um and i like the you know his more meta point of like we need to be solving physics more than anything like solve physics you solve everything and that we should be pushing to test the you know push the boundaries of what we can actually do in the physical universe instead of like engineering within it he's like why would we not like actually see if we can make physics more pliable to what we want it's kind of his general th like thesis um it's a very controversial statement, and I get why a lot of people don't like it. Um, but yeah, he's, he's just really interesting. Um, um, what other questions? Did I forget to end my turn? Yes, <laughs> I'm speaking. I haven't finished my turn uh, because I, I'm, I'm stressed because I'm playing against Kareem, and he's so good. Um, sorry, I hope he doesn't mind me saying his name. I mean, it's, it's fine. Uh, he's so good at this game. It's really annoying. Uh, and I just don't quite know the right play against him. <sighs> do I want to just bum rush knights again? I think it's maybe a bit... I do want to build up my economy. How big is this map? It's pretty small, right? It's only 196. Yeah. Although I know I need roads. Because I'm going to need roads to get through here. Uh... Uh, 
Okay, well, I'm going to need to go north so let's move that. Okay. I moved on your match. Oh, and I didn't end? That's not true. Right, oh, these are the only... Oh, yes, sorry. You're right. You're absolutely right. I didn't end. There you go. Uh, all right. On you, Uber dude. So, I think. So, to level up this city on the next turn, I'm gonna need. Damn it, I'm gonna need to buy either forestry. Or organization. I don't really wanna go buying organization. Although, if I. D Actually, organization's better these days because now you have str strategy and diplomacy. And against these guys, that's what I'm gonna want. And for but forestry is good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to save. Okay, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to wait a turn and buy forestry. Seems controversial. It's probably a mistake, but. Alright. Let's go over here. Oh, hey! Oh, you're playing for Laris? Yeah. You like that? I'm a Bosch. Boosts. Fungi, that's gonna level up. You, my friend, are in trouble. I do admire the bravery, though, of playing Polaris. They are not easy. Um, I have a huge advantage with Samantha against Polaris. Um, like, that's definitely a very overpowered mismatch. <clears throat> um, okay, Jesse Shaw asks, yes, physics is our building blocks. What is your opinion on UFOs and the fact that the US government says they're real? Um, yeah. I don't know. I've certainly become more open-minded. I was extremely skeptical. Like, as skeptical as you get about any UFO viewings in terms of, like, that they were something not of this Earth. You know, whether that's, like, an alien that has traveled from another planet or something metaphysical we don't understand, um, you know, from some hyper dimension or whatever. But, uh, you know, my priors are still like, you know, they went from like a one in a billion to a one in a hundred thousand. So they've definitely shifted which is something, but it's just like, I've never seen one. Um, I do know a couple of people who claim they've seen one and have had experiences, but uh, there's just so many other more plausible explanations. I believe like people who see stuff, I believe they see something. Just think there's so many, you know, our brains are capable of wonderful things. Um, so, uh, yeah, and I, I don't know. That said, I watched, there was a really good uh, interview with Lex Friedman, uh, by Lex Friedman, with this guy who was a Navy fighter pilot in, like, 2003 and saw this, like, weird machine or this thing over the ocean behaving in ways that would not be seemingly human, certainly not with 2003 technology. Oh, look, here he goes. Kareem Classics. Yeah. Okay, so he will take that on the next go. But this is really interesting because he's... Yeah, this is actually... He's got, I've got a lot of hope here. That seems like the only path through. There's not a... Oh, there's a walkway down here. Yeah, okay, let's go down there and see where this goes. Oh, come on! Oh, I hate it when that happens. Walkway, no distraction. Um, okay, so I'm gonna want this here. He's gonna be going. That's wow. I actually have quite an advantage on him. I might actually be able to beat him if I don't mess this up because he's like kind of trapped over here. His spawn actually looks quite crap. Um, Do I want to go for roads? I still start, don't know if I should be building my economy. I think I think it's just a case of bum rushing. I 
just hate buying free spirit because it doesn't do anything. It's just like literally a tax for, to get to chivalry. Also, knights aren't as good as they used to be. That's also true. Okay, let's put you there. So we're definitely going to be doing that. Um... Not, I haven't leveled up this city yet, and that's definitely a mistake. I'm gonna be getting this on the next turn, and I already have forestry. I could buy fishing, but it doesn't level me up. There's only two, and I've got a third, and I need a fourth thing. Oh, actually, I do have four. Okay. Um, maybe fishing's a play. But I just don't know. I think I think we want to go chivalrous. The trouble is he's watching the stream, so he knows what I'm doing. Mm. It's just a really expensive thing to buy if I'm then not getting them on the next. If I can buy, I'll be able to buy one per turn. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna buy it. Might be a big mistake. Yeah. So we're gonna go over here, take that, yum. And we'll go expand. Um, and we'll get into riding. These are these incredibly powerful. They don't have much health, they only have five health, so they're very unresilient, but they can travel really far. They have, they're pretty, uh, uh, powerful attackers. Um, they're just a good time, these hexapods. Okay. Let's go back to some questions. Um, Jesse says, I think we were seeded by extraterrestrials. Um, yeah, possible. And I mean, by we, you mean like the f first ever like prokaryotic life, you know, cells and that kind of thing? Uh, or at what stage was this seeding happening? Um, it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility, but we don't really, again, there's, there's no evidence there that we were. Um, but at the same time, the, the true origins of life have not been, you know, it seems like we, just uh, complex uh, molecules started emerging which over time enabled cells to start developing um, and then life somehow started there. Uh, but you're right that it's incredibly, like the, the number of possibilities, you know, the, the, you had to get extremely lucky basically for that to happen within the time frame that it did. Um, so like extremely lucky, uh, which is the argument for the rare, uh, rare Earth hypothesis that we are the only intelligent, uh, you know, at least the only intelligent species probably in the galaxy because it seems like it was so impossible for life to emerge, um, which then perhaps lends itself to this idea of being seeded by extraterrestrials, but then that means that they had to come from somewhere, so that it doesn't quite work. So uh, I don't know. I, I, I would bet against that we were seeded, um, but it would be a pretty cool origin story. I, I, I'm not against it as a principle. I think it seems pretty awesome. Uh, all right, so I'm going to take this city. Um... Do I want to buy organization? Maybe for, yeah. I think I just want to stay on the offensive. Oh, damn, I need to level this up. Uh, okay, you can come over here. And then you're going to be more useful. Um, let's just take it. Ooh, nice. Well, that's handy. Where are all my games? Sensible. See what other questions we got. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, so you're saying the first living DNA type stuff. Um, DNA is an advanced information technology. That is true. It's DNA is fascinating. I mean, it's like it's literally like programming code, right? Um, uh, yeah. Um, 
But I just again, why does that necessarily? I would say that was almost more argument for like something external as opposed to like classic. You know, it it seems like it would be something created by something external to this universe that's able to like fiddle with it as opposed to something that's already living within the universe. Because then, how did they origin? You know. Um, I think that's the more interesting thing is, is how did any kind of code get injected into the universe in the first place? Um, that's really a key question to me. Um, and bordering on like a religious thing, right? Um, yeah, so basically I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, I, I almost would bet money more on that there's something hyperdimensional that is able to like look in and fiddle with our universe, some kind of intelligence is sort of external to our universe, then there are like on stars or planets within our universe, which uh, is quite a controversial statement, I appreciate. But yeah, that's my that's my personal thesis. Um, I still, I don't know, but it's, it's, a, it's a loosely held belief. Um, I think there's plenty of other possibilities too. Um, look at that discussing metaphysics and polytopia simultaneously could you oh this was like my dream thank you um bye paolo thank you for watching thanks for joining uh dave jeffrey else uh, what are thoughts on bostrom simulation hypothesis the logic makes sense Definitely makes sense. Um, I mean, I love Bostrom. He's he's such he's a really cool dude, um, and just such a brilliant thinker. Like some of his work. I mean, his work is so important. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, is ooh, hey Mooney. Uh, ooh, sorry, I'm just thinking what to do here. Definitely making you hexapod. I think I'm just gonna keep spamming, you know, because I, I can level up this city with this. Um, yeah, I, I again, I think it's a very, very plausible explanation, simulation hypothesis. Is it like my favorite explanation? I don't know, but it's definitely. I don't know how many different explanations there are, but it would be in the top three for me. There's just so much weird stuff happening. Um, I don't, I'm not explaining this well. Um, okay, what other questions? Not using roads. Oh, in this game? Do you mean this game? Like, no, no some, some anti's roads I think are kind of overrated. Um, all right. Ooh, ooh, things are happening. Um, but in general, roads are great. Okay. Can I kill you and then pop in there with this? Okay, I think this is probably the place. Yum, you go there. Yum. See, this is what I mean. Like, the Samantha are definitely a little bit overpowered. It's like, that I can do this. It feels almost criminal. Um... And then I just do that. You know, you're like, you're not even having to think. This is all a bit cheeky. Uh, you know, I'll just buy another one. Yeah, I'll just buy another one. It's, they're definitely a bit of a spammy tribe. Um, which is not ideal. Oh, this is getting stressful. Oh. <laughs> it's so stressful. Okay, you need to come back here. We've got to get involved in this. No. No. Ooh, good. Okay. Uh, so if he's watching, I don't want to go putting my knight in there immediately. Because he's going to attack it with that and that's going to hurt it. Uh, I do want a knight. Maybe I wait. Maybe I wait. Maybe I just, uh, maybe I just level up the city. Yeah, you know what? I don't need knights yet. <clears throat> Which is now a bit silly because I've already purchased them. 
And generally you don't want to purchase anything before you need to use it because it's then it's like a waste of money but yeah all right how far ahead am i i'm really quite far ahead so i don't have much no excuse for this oh it would be so wonderful to beat him um what do i want to get oh man i'm so bad at polaris Probably forestry. Oh, there's two forests there. Yeah, but let me. Yeah, let's get forestry. We don't need that. Okay, now we can get this. It's nice turning everything into everything. Hunting. Ooh, actually, and then I can level this up. Take that. Turn it into another hut. Oh, nice. Look at that. See, no, no longer in fourth. We've moved up to third. <laughs> I'll take it. Uber dude. Yeah. What's it like watching your own demise? You know? Oh, oh. So I get like a sick pleasure from crushing people in Polytopia. This is, this is probably a little worrying. So can I get in there? Okay, I won't be able to you'll take me back on this turn but you're gonna have no money left so sorry say la vie keep them questions coming you guys are some really good questions thank you oh oh you did why is it not scrolling down Dang. doesn't simulation theory assume a lot like how would we ever figure out what kind of sim we were in um it would be like the people from SimCity becoming aware and understanding they are being played. Very true. Um, no, I mean, it would, by definition, if you're simulated within something, it would be extremely hard to, you know, it'd be kind of like Weinstein's geometric unity or whatever, or like, um, you know, his idea of breaking out of physics, basically. That's what you would need to do in order to examine the source code, presumably, if you're made of the source code. But maybe not. You know, that's just because that's how it works with, you know, these characters in Polytopia. Um, they presumably don't know. Well, I hope actually they don't have any consciousness. Uh, that would be bad because it means I've been making them fight against each other. I've been Moloch to them, forcing them into like zero sum games that don't need to be played um, and making them kill each other. That would be really bad. Ah! So that's what I've been doing. I've just been like forcing these little things. Like what if we when you know when uh, people go to war here with they we're doing it because we think we need to but actually we've just been infected by like a an ex extraneous player uh making us you know like like infected with like a moloch mindset a mind virus that makes us want to go to war with each other and that's what it feels like for them in there um what if we're in base polytopia as someone i know once said um now I'm having an existential crisis. Thanks, everyone. Uh, just hurting all your units, being a terrible person. Um, man, this is dark. Gonna keep doing it because that's how it works. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> Sorry, Uber dude. Sorry, little units. I hope I hope they're not suffering. I hope they feel they they they, they don't feel anything, right? Ah, I won! Yay! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just like I'm just being a like omnicidal maniac <laughs> to these little things that they're just like we just wanted to live. We're just living in our little world. <laughs> oh, that's it. Everyone streams over. I'm never playing again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like crying at my victory. Yeah, swords, great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, now I don't even want to win. Yeah, that's right, you runaway. Get out of here, sensible. Uh. Right. Now then. Man, this is this. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to research bloody. 
because there's this one this is so interesting i've never seen this before there's this one crossing point basically to get to each other um yeah i think i'm gonna have to go water i think that's the way i would like to get a knight up in there but it's just it's gonna be so expensive yeah i don't think we want to go knights yet okay fine Let's level this up. Hmm. Do I want to expand my border or do I want to take the three population? That's the question. Can we just expand? Why not? Uh, I'm so nervous. This like I'm screwing this up. Okay, recover you. Nothing imminently is going to happen. So one interesting thing about Illyrian actually, I should be thinking about is if he's leveling up his city, he's got an egg right now. When you the, their super unit, so like Amo, you most of the tribes you get a giant, um, but with Illyrian you get this dragon egg that takes three turns I think, and then it turns into a baby dragon, and then another few turns and it turns into a mega dragon. Um, and it's, it's like the most powerful unit in the entire game. So I do not want him to get to that stage. So actually, should have thought of that sooner. I actually need to bum rush him. I need to get on and go after him. You listening, Kareem? Am I playing on Steam? No, this the app is now available in the App Store for Mac. It's cool. Um, so don't need to. Ooh, more questions. Uh, nice. What have I missed? What have I missed? Saludos from Santiago de Chile. Hi, Antonio. I've never been to Chile. I want to go. Uh, bye, Dikun. Thanks for watching. Uh, no, I don't play much poker anymore, Dave. Um, I basically don't play any poker at all. Although, as I said earlier, uh, we'll be going to the WSOP uh, to play a few events some point in June, I think. If I can, if I get a chance. Um, but no, poker is not... Uh, not I, I like don't play at all, basically. Um, it was surprised that, like It took me a long time to sort of quit from playing full-time, but then when I did, just didn't look back. Um, but... I still love the game and uh, I do miss I just miss all my friends in it that's one of the main reasons I want to go back um, uh, <laughs> Radoslav says think how much you are doing for the Polytopians expanding their culture technology building amazing places to live parks etc I guess yeah like look at our civilization we do like it's pretty good but it is built on an awful lot of bloodshed and war like I, I could be a nice god and look for like ways for them to win everyone to win but looking for the win-wins um, which by the way is the opposite of Moloch I'm giving stuff away here but that's going to be hopefully the direction of the of the videos of the videos the YouTube videos let's not talk about them um, oh, look at this I'm, I'm getting this like creepy excitement feel like oh so I, I need to buy roads because I've got to get through here because this forest is going to just hold up everything all right fine road road now I can buy the bloody night still and I said I was gonna bum rush I still haven't done it it's <laughs> Probably a city down here. Yep. Um, okay, you've got to be there ready to go. Man, what's going on with these games? Okay, mate, you got to play. Why are you not playing? Oh. oh, I didn't read your other message. So think about how much you're expanding their, their culture, technology, parks, 
new places, roads, community, new technologies, and then you close the game. Well, we don't know that the game hasn't, like while I'm speaking, our simulation hasn't just been paused and continued. From our experience, it could happen 20 times since I just started sp speaking this sentence. We have no idea. We wouldn't feel any different. Um, that said, it is, if you believe in the simulation argument, then you, in some ways, that's almost an argument against like caring about the long-term future because it, it could get turned off at any minute. Um, and actually, you, thus, you would want to optimize for whatever would make it most likely to stay on which means presumably not turning the earth into just boring wasteland that caps its potential that would make it boring uh, or by becoming some homogenous author authoritarian hellhole where no one can do anything um you know mass surveillance and censorship also would be bad um not very interesting from a simulator's perspective we're like well okay cool they ended up in this misery Ugh. turn it on. you know they'd watch it for a little bit maybe if they were a bit sort of sadistic and entertained but like if we never get off earth it's not a very interesting story is it so um another argument as to why we should probably you know try and build some cool stuff build some cool spaceships go elsewhere you know make make make, make the story interesting um but uh it's not an airtight argument obviously but definitely interesting to ruminate on okay and think before i click He's playing fast because he knows I'm like yabbering away. Yes. And I really think I've got to get into the water. So I got a horse. That's my two knights, it's good actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that far ahead. He's he's creeping around because I know he's got his bloody dragon up his sleeve. Don't worry, they only had 30 turns to live anyway. That is true. That is true. Is my camera blurry? I mean, we know it's fat. But it is a little blurry. Am I, am I just out of focus? Man, okay, this is, this is some rookie shit. Let me have a look. One second. I need to put something where my face would be. Let's put the Yeti mic so I can see the distance. That should be. Is that sharper or is it the same? Um, I'm a real whiz with the camera. <laughs> oh look, we got a spammer in the group. How cool. How do I get rid of this? How do I hide the user? Bye. You little bot. Um, need some mods in here. My my forty one person stream needs a mod. <laughs> Just out of control. Uh, wow, these bots. How do I? Uh, Uh, okay. Someday I will need a, a moderator, right? Right? It's gonna grow. Doubt that whoever simulates our universe would be impressed by us building a spaceship. Oh, I completely disagree. What? If they simulate the universe, well, what else are they, like, there's not else, you know, if we're the most interesting thing, assuming there's no other life anywhere, we're the, literally the most interesting thing in the entire universe. Like, Black holes are cool, you know, neutron stars are cool, but they're not like processing information. They're just being intense, doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over for like completely statically. Like the most interesting thing sometimes is a, car, a star goes boom. But once you've seen that once, like, you know, there's not that much difference in all of them. We're by far the most interesting thing. 
Um, so us like managing to then leave the like spawn point. Like we're interested when a Polytopia person, you know, tribe finds a new city. If we find this entertaining, they're for sure. Like otherwise, why would they have built us in the first place? You know, why would they have created the simulation? This is some quality questions though. Thank you, everybody. Please keep them coming. Make your pick in pick larger. Uh, you want my picture bigger? Um, uh, cause it's not, okay. Ooh, I might be able to sort out the, the smushing as well. I wonder if that makes it more. I have a like weird delay on my YouTube, so I can't see it immediately. <laughs> Send dick pics to girls is back again. Bye. I would love to come see the observatories in Chile, man. That would be so cool. Uh, I, I love tall mountains. You guys obviously have the second tallest mountain range. Aconcagua, 7,000 meters. Been eyeing that bad boy to climb it for years. Um, have you climbed it? Because it's like super close to your city, right? You can even see it. Um, yeah, I want to go so bad. Okay, what the hell am I doing in this game? I'm not thinking. Okay, I have riding. Okay, good. Let's get... Let's get some horses up in this and go exploring. Yum. That's nice. Can I make one of you folks uh, a moderator? Um, I trust all of you. So whoever fancies a miserable task, it's not fun. Um, but if any of you fancy it, then... And no worries if not. Um, it'd be cool. <clears throat> sure, okay, so you're saying that because they might watch thousands of civilizations um, and maybe be able to watch millions of years in what feels like a second, us traveling to Mars doesn't seem that impressive. Well, sure, but... It is still in our simulation. It's still the most interesting thing that we can do. And given, you know, if it's a matter of survival of keeping our simulation going, it's still therefore like moral imperative to do it. It's so, logically, if you want your simulation to keep going, it's the best chance. It's the most interesting thing it can kind of do, right? Um, that and like, I guess, build AI, which will uh, figure out crazy stuff or build crazy stuff. Um, those would be the sort of two arguments for like making it interesting. Um, but of course, yeah, there might be other civilizations which are already doing wacky, crazy stuff. But I'd love to know what you think that wacky, crazy stuff is um, that is like thousands of times better than what we're, you know, able to do with our, you know, our limits. Because assuming they have, like most of the civs, you know, again, given that we're so lucky to have made it through even, you know, from non-life into life, um, you know, so much so that someone suggested that we might be spawned by extraterrestrials because it's so rare, like crazy, that like DNA would emerge. Um, that would speak for us being one of the more interesting of all the possible simulations, assuming, you know, because we're, we're, we're not like comparing ourselves to simulations of like other, uni you know, we, you know, I'm sure there are other like entirely different universes with entirely different physicses um, that uh maybe being simulated and those might be just much more interesting sure but like that's just you can't even speculate against that but if we're talking about other like sims of earth basically we're probably one of the more interesting ones because most of the other ones have just nothing ever emerged at all um and then the ones that did like again like probably like there's so many ways for things to have died out um you know a gamma ray burst too close a bad meteor strike the the soup not getting going into you know primordial soup not getting going etc there's just a quintillion ways for life on earth to have not happened with the same start spawn point of earth um so i was probably is one of the more interesting ones um you know but of course then there's like the observer selection effects i talked about in that video oh he's in the water 
Wait, I didn't see where that came from. Shit. <sighs> oh, see, look at that. Oh, look how far a knight can go. God bless knights. Okay. So I've got 17 points. Mm. Uh, okay, I think it's no, a no-brainer. Yeah, I mean, he's got to be in the water, right? I think I just got to go for this, although I'm alerting him to it. Oh, hi. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, see, like, I have a sickness. I'm not proud of it. Okay, I want... That needs, if I build a road under him, I might even be able to just, wait, what? Okay, so I can only get to there. So I'll move you to there. I mean, he's, oh, he might be spamming knights himself. If he's spamming knights right now, I'm fucked because he's gonna just take all three of those units. Um, but that is, the gamble I must take. I'm just gonna make another one. Um, recover. Uh, and then I think let's can't level this up just yet. I might want to level. All right, fuck it. I've run out of money anyway. Capture the village. Wait. Sorry, let me just read. Um, Neil deGrasse says that the only simulator, simulations which haven't created a the simulation themselves would be whether the first one or... Would it be either the first one or the second one, or the last one. Which means we're one of those two, which is unlikely. Well... Unless we're not... Uh, no, that, that, that doesn't quite make sense because... Even if, you know, it would take a period of time for any universe to create simulations within it. It's not, like, immediate. And it looks like we're getting, you know, we're going so fast in terms of the ability to build a simulation. Um, Moore's Law, etc. Um, you know, I wouldn't be shocked in 70 years' time, especially with AI, that we can't build a simulation that is, like, almost near perfect to like the starting conditions of Earth, you know, and like does like a Monte Carlo simulation on that basically. Uh, but I like a really, really fancy one. Um, so that doesn't, unless I'm missing something, that doesn't really hold water to me. Uh, it's just, a, you know, it, we're just in that moment in time where it's not happened yet, um, but we're close to it. And the fact that we're alive now when we're so close to it is the interesting thing. Which then brings you on to the whole uh, doomsday argument, because it's like you're most likely to find yourself alive when the most people are alive. You know, assuming that this is another Nick Bostrom thing, um, the the like self sampling assumption. Um, I should make a video on this, uh, but like basically, if you assume that you are an observer in a random set of, uh, you know, of the whole population of possible observers, you are just like randomly found in that, then it means that you're most likely to find yourself in whichever group has the largest number of possible observers um which means that we are currently in the biggest population we could have which is fucking terrifying because then that means that you know we would expect over time for trillions of lives to exist even if our like rate of growth plateaus and we just stay the same that would still be billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of people over the next you know millions of years so you'd be more likely to find yourself in the far future than you are now sometime in the future than you are now um, which means that maybe we're at the end and I don't like that, so we don't think about that. And there's, but there's also a counter argument to it, which is the self-indicating assumption. Um, but you're gonna need to go and read about that because I can't explain it. Um, but it's, look up Nick, uh, Bos Nick Bostrom, uh, self-sampling assumption and self-indicating assumption. And it talks about the doomsday argument and like the arguments for it and then the counter argument to it. Um, and uh, yeah. Okay, who wants to be a moderator? Who? 
Did someone ask? Did someone raise their hand? Igor, I don't know if you're in the chat. I know you closed it, but do you want to be a moderator? Harambe in the chat, yo. <laughs> it's Harambe's birthday yesterday. Um, found out that Harambe was born in Brownsville, which is where I've been a few times. Um, and that's really weird. Because, <laughs> I don't know, Brownsville's not a particularly famous place. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's not interesting. Um, who wants to be a moderator? Harambe for mod? Yay, Harambe, okay. Thank you. I'm gonna let a gorilla be a moderator. Nice, all right, Swamp and Blood. <sighs> the stress, oh shit, he's already got a dragon. Oh, and he's got catapults. See, this is, this is him. Okay, well, oh jeez. All right, so maybe we wanna go down here then. Yeah. So he's got a catapult, and we know he's got a dragon. Mm, okay. We're gonna have to go into the water. So let's buy sailing. So now the question is, I level this city up, but do I wanna get the stars or do I wanna get a city wall? Cause this is a very tactically important city. That I don't want him to take. I know you'll bully me and tell me I'm a chicken if I put a wall in, but I think it's the right play. Mm. Um. And then, what have we got here? Okay. Secure forest. I think I want another unit. I just, because I just got to keep pressure on, on him. I think that's more valuable. But it's annoying that my units can't go. Yeah. Maybe I pull back for a minute. Yeah, okay. Let's not get units. Let's do this. Let's do some leveling up. Let's get some more stars for the next turn. I definitely have a very good opportunity here and I don't want to squander it. It's still probably I just need to do knights, just overwhelm him with knights. chop down any trees and put another unit in there I don't think so what is the range on a dragon actually I can't see uh, this is a problem that would be a disaster if a dragon went in there maybe I shouldn't risk it yeah I'm actually not going to risk it because it would just be such a disaster Have I watched ContraPoint's new video? I haven't. Uh, actually, I did see she's got a new one out, but um, I kind of don't want to watch it yet because a, her videos are always really long um, and I've got too much to do, but I, I, I just don't want it to, because I feel like her and I are sort of converging on similar topics at the moment. I don't want it to color mine in any way. Um, yeah, the next video is kind of about the culture wars and why everyone's so angry and what Moloch, what role Moloch has to play in that. Um, and sort of how it combines with the internet and everything. And so I don't know, I don't, I don't actually, I, I, what her new video is about, but I just, I'm gonna wait until I've got mine done as a treat to myself for getting the damn thing finished. By the way, uh, I am hiring um, someone 
if you if any of you or if you know anyone who is a really good video editor who kind of gets my stuff and my style um good at graphics video editing helping hosts this kind of stuff like technicals social media artsy but technical stuff but also has a good brain for the weird concepts i like to talk about please apply um i tweeted it recently um uh if you can think of anyone that would be great ideally someone in austin but doesn't have to be um but it'd be super helpful because that would speed up my rate of production now i've got my studio and i've got a house um but i really need uh someone who can take over the video editing for me because i'm just way too slow um and then i can think more about like actual script and that kind of stuff man no games all right, let's find some new ones. Wow, I've been streaming two and a half hours. This is this is sustainable. This is something I can actually see doing. This is less exhausting than poker. This poker is so tiring, man. I used to I used to kill me doing it. It's just like, oh god, how much money? Wow. Ah, uh, no, sorry, mate. Just can't. I think I'd won. I'd, I'd get minus points just for winning. Well, there's a weird light thing happening. Oh, it's the sun. All right. How's that? Much better, except for now the lights, because the light fell down because of the ghosts. Build the contraptions so that the light stands up. I enjoy my stream. <laughs> okay, theory that should stay. Hello. I have returned. All right, let's see what else we got. Descendant simulation would need to have less energy than our universe, correct? Yeah, it seems to make sense. Any thoughts on performance optimizations or compression and if how that maps into the physics of our universe? Uh, my computer science is not good enough on this. <laughs> uh, great question, though. Um, yeah, presumably it would, it would, it would you know, I mean, if, if, the, if, the, if the currency of a simulated universe is actually information, you know, information is, correlates to energy in some way, um, then it would have to be, you know, of lower complexity, lower information, etc. cetera. Um, but if it, I don't know, is it possible for like information to not be conserved essentially? Um, because it definitely seems like information isn't conserved in ours because like we're having all this emergence all the time you know like greater things come out where the sum of the whole is greater than the sum of the individual parts um so yeah i don't know really good question um i'll have to ask someone who knows more about that than i do uh uh what other questions do we have <laughs> harambe i see i see what your vibe is now harambe i like it that's great because actually i'm not really into graphic design or video editing but i have a friend that is also not into it 
I see it. Um, you're not going to see me streaming on Twitch, by the way. I'm streaming intentionally on YouTube because I want to grow my the, YouTube is useful for. Um, oh, jeez, man, this is no fun at all. Okay, it's time to bring the pain. There's just no value in a super unit. Let's think. I think I want to build a port just, if nothing else, but to stop. <laughs> there you are, yeah, big fat dragon. Duly noted. Um. Okay, this is really key right now. So the dragon can't move past me to get into that city, so it's not the end of the world. Um, you need to come, start coming back. This is definitely, oof, this is a close game. Ah, oh, man, it's really annoying because I can't access it there. Is there gonna be another city hiding here? Yeah, I thought so. Huh. This is such an interesting map. This one little plot of land going across it. Um, I mean, he's definitely playing like he's in sort of defense right now. <clears throat> and I've got I'm like opportunities. I haven't like I haven't leveled up either of these two cities yet. I don't know if I can clear the forest. I don't need all of this. Yeah, I need that. Hmm. I just hate giving him time because as soon as he starts making knights, I'm in trouble. Hi Luke, welcome back. Okay, what does this temple got for me? I don't, that's not useful. Cool, thanks. Ooh. Oh wow, someone Zinzi. Interesting. Okay, now let's go take that. I guess we gotta go down here. Do I wanna get roads and start speeding stuff up? Yeah, okay, I need to level this up. Nice. Yes, please. Yep. And then... Uh, yeah, I can't go this way. Hmm, interesting. I think I want another... Actually, a lot of cities on my thing. So, I've got a decision now. Do I want to start using my Mooney to start freezing over here into whoever's territory this is? I'm not really strong enough to start attacking yet. Um, but it's such a slow unit to move and do anything else with. It's kind of redundant otherwise. I think actually... So the super units in this, the, the giant equivalent, so like Illyrion has dragons. In this, it's a thing called a Garmi. Like has antlers um and it freezes as it goes it freezes and attacks um so it's actually really powerful and useful so i think i just want to focus on economy right now not that far behind i don't like keep wasting hmm. i don't really want to go buy another unit Another game. Joaquinos. Oof. Come on, there have got to be some people with better yellows out there. King of Sky Arts. Yeah, no, the deadline. The deadline was June twenty six, not May twenty six. Uh, I at least it should say that. Um, yeah, you can still apply. 
Uh, definitely, please do. Uh, what game is this? I'm not looking what I'm doing. Man! Okay. I know I'm being picky, but I really do want someone with a good better yellow than a thousand. Slim. Oh! I mean, I'm just, I'm never gonna lose. Fine, I'll play against them. Mm, let's, let's have some Kiku. Wait, what is it? Continents, yeah, let's have some Kiku. Kiku are great, they start with fishing. Um, they like tropical people. Who is winning between me and Igrok? Unfortunately, he won. That game is over. Let me see if I can start another game with him. Um, what do we want to do? Yeah, a bit of continence. Um, if you do apply, by the way, uh, please make a note on the form that you are one of this this, this streamer uh, from from this. <laughs> Just you know, give me the information somehow. <laughs> if you if you can't figure it out, then don't apply. <laughs> You'll be doing better than me. Uh, Korean fruit. fruit. That's a bad start for Kiku. Only two fishes. Off we go. Uh, well, let's get rid of that. Are there any games, any other games I play at the moment? Uh, not on the phone or like, oh, I actually did just get an Xbox and uh, started playing Trackmania. All that talk about mental health problems. That game is, oof. it's basically like a racing game where it's, you, you know, you're kind of racing against your own time. And it's just, it's been really high quality racing, very sensitive, etc. cetera, um, different types of cars. And uh, it becomes very OCD. As you can imagine, like shaving off hundreds of a second or getting corners just a little better. So that's, oh, I can't stream that. <laughs> it's just me being unwell, screaming at my TV. Um, but uh, yeah, played that a little bit. Igor's really good at it because he used to play it a lot when he was a kid. Um. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, there he goes. See, that's what the bloody thing does. These things are a nightmare. Man, this is so brutal. His dragon's just gonna sit there and there's nothing I can do. Oy. It's just really ugly. Oh man, seriously? Okay, let's, uh, let's just spend four on this. Oy. him in because then he can't go anywhere. Wow, this is going to be so hard. Okay. Uh, and then let's do this. And now I get a super unit. Okay. Oh. So how does this thing's fire work? I have no idea. 
splash. The unit causes splash damage, but how much? So it's attack. Its attack is incredibly powerful. It attacks four. Um, I, I want to know how much the splash does, because I could level this up into like a ship so it does a bit more defense, because I need to start attacking this damn dragon. Um... He's got a catapult in there. Yeah, I've really just got to go. Uh. Hmm. I think I want to build a port down here. Gotta start defending this. Man, this is so tricky. My knights are now not as valuable because they. Yeah, they're not as valuable because I can't get them through to do any string attacks. So now I actually have to now transition into doing more boats. Boats are kind of lame in this kind of map because it's, you know, I spent all this money on the damn knights. I guess let's just level this up. Get a super unit here. Level this up, so just get two more. And then just in case, build someone here. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Dave asks, would you do an interview with Lex Friedman? We will campaign on your behalf. Uh, I actually have one lined up. Um, I just don't want to do it yet because I want to wait until my next video is out because, you know, I want to have at least two of the videos in the series there to promote. Um, considering I think this is like my most important work. Uh, but yeah, no, please to say. Lex is great, he's a really cool guy. Um, uh, and we'll be going on there, hopefully, sometime in the next next couple of months. Haramba, yeah, played Trackmania a few years ago, was playing for an hour, but then it was actually eight hours. Seriously, that game, that game is unwell. Uh, on his podcast, which is much better than being on my channel. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, they resigned. Okay, well, that's irrelevant. Uh, uh, okay, Igrok. Let's try this again. All right, I'm going to do another promo pimp tweet. Bear with me. Oh, actually, I should do it on Instagram, right? I haven't, I haven't promoted this on Instagram. You want to watch me do an awkward story? I never use Instagram anymore. Okay. Story. Hi, everyone. I am streaming on uh, my YouTube right now. No, words, blah, blah. Uh, come join. Come, you, you'll find it. Just go to my YouTube channel, which is just my name, uh, and you'll see that there's a video, a live stream called Polytopia Running. Come join and come talk to me right now. Please, yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm ah! streaming. The chaos. On uh, my YouTube right now. This is why I don't do Instagram anymore. <laughs> Uh, it's embarrassing. Okay, that's sent. The pimping is done. Back to the important thing. Back to the real universe. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, I need to think. 
don't want to go buying another warrior. Man, this is a terrible... Oh, uh, and she's not that bad, because I can level up. I have three, because you want three of one technology for your next level up. Um, and I do have that with organization. Yeah, I think just wait. What is this game about, Utops asks. <sighs> what isn't it about? It's about everything. It's about building one's economy. It is about life. It is about metaphysics. It is about everything. It can give you an existential crisis if you want. Um, we will not talk about that again. <laughs> Bad times. Um, but it, the goal is to be the last tribe standing. Um, you play against other people who are also trying to build their economy, you know, expand across the continent. This is the continent. I wonder if I can zoom out. Is there a way to make it small? There you go. So, like, that's what it looks like. Floating in space. Kind of like Earth. Um, but square. And, uh... Wow, sorry, I just thought, like, one of my videos which talked about making the Earth into a line and then into a square, how big of an area would it... Done? I could have used Polytopia graphics. That would have been brilliant. Full circle. Um, but anyway, yeah, <laughs> the goal is to conquer the entire world um oh no see now we're in this this is this is no good um and uh wait i cannot do two things at once wait what were we large phew Whew. um uh this music's too loud uh, uh yeah so you you end up conquering everything um and then you win and that's that's how life works um very important was that a good explanation? <laughs> My brain is starting to fail. It's good, this is information. So I know that after three hours of streaming, things start to go south. Um, noted for next time. What technology do I want to buy? I don't need to buy anything, actually, because I've got fishies. This, that, that's huge. This, this, the fact that I didn't have to buy anything in order to level up this city was that. This is why I'm going to now win this game, which is... It's not usually this simple. It doesn't usually have these like simple inflection points, but that was one. Okay, let's go back. Swampy blood. Oh, I don't have the bandwidth for this game. I want to. No, stop. Another fight. Okay. I don't even know what to do against this bloody dragon. Like, I, I, he somehow has the perfect... I guess i got to get a unit in here, actually. Okay. Man, do I have to now... So I upgraded it to ship, but I could spend a shit ton. Yeah, I can't afford it. Get na navigation, because at least it would deal with this. I guess, let's see if that actually kills it or not. I need to... If I can get a giant in there, that's going to be big. Okay. Finally, I can take something. And distract him for a minute. Ugh. Be nice to get actually to expand my territory here, get a port in there, because then I can kind of get across. It's another way of getting across at him. Because right now I'm just so kind of under under revved. Hmm. Anything to cover? Maybe there. Ah, man. 
Oh, that was a mistake. Bulls. Bulls, bulls, bulls. That was a big mistake. <sighs> There's just no way for me to attack his dragon. He's just got the perfect spot and he's just sitting there growing his fat giants. Oh, okay, actually I can come and give you a wash. Yeah, you like that? This is nice. What to do with you? Yeah, I think you want to come this way. Okay. And then I'm going to level this up. Right, so, uh, do I want to buy another unit? Sorry, everyone. I'm <laughs> this is important. <laughs> it's just very important. Okay, end turn. How's everyone doing? <laughs> What have we got? Fishies, I'm now gonna win. It's like highly advanced chess. I think so. It's definitely much more like, I think you can't, you can't, because in chess, it's really about studying, just going deeper and deeper and deeper, but it's quite constrained. Like the state space complexity of chess, you know, the number of legal moves that you can ever make. Um, from a starting position within a game with chess is is like 10 to the 40 which is a huge insane number obviously 10 with 40 zeros after it but compared to poker like even one on one heads up like the most simple form of poker no no limit that's like 10 to the 180 go is 10 to the 170 so like and and then this is especially on a large map is going to eclipse even those numbers. Like it's going to be bigger probably than like 10 to the 400 in terms of the number of actual possible moves you could do. Um, so it's just like an entirely different form of, you know, you can't brute force it in this game. Not that you can really brute force it in chess either. You know, it's not like what Magnus is doing, but um, it's, it's so extraordinarily complex. Mm. Probably. Ooh, it's not as good of a starting now. So I'm probably gonna really want to quickly rush to getting in the water here. Um, I'm gonna need this, so I don't need to buy any more units. Nice. People's brains are being yes, agreed. U tops. That's my my feelings pr precisely. Oh, hi. Hello, wanting my sp stuff. You're not gonna have it. Okay, what do I get? Stop giving me that! Why? Like, you can get so many things. You can get a free technology. You can get 10 stars. Oh no, we'll just show you some map. Thanks. You can get a swordsman. Like, there's so many valuable things. Ooh, interesting. So if I freeze the water here, I actually don't want to freeze it. So I could, with my Mooney, I could freeze this square. Um, but then he can come across and attack me. So I actually don't want to do that yet. So kind of, actually, I want to go this way with Mooney. Just start freezing over there. Keep him, who is this? Okay, it's you. Huh. This is interesting. I think I want to start doing roads. Oh, I do need to level that up as well. Actually, I have a lot of money right now. So let's level this up. That's, that's a no-brainer. Yep. And then I think I want to do roads so I can start attacking more. Actually, I could level that up too, but it's going to cost 15. It's really expensive. Mm. Yeah, let's do roads. Because I'm going to want to go and attack him so that he doesn't get that city. That's really important. Nice, so now I'm in second. All 
Egrock. Yeah, I definitely want to get in the water as quickly as possible in this game. I just can't let him build up his stuff too much. The most annoying guy. Okay, what questions? <laughs> uh, wait, Nicholas Krakow says it's 10 to the 1,274. Is the state space complexity of Polytopia? I don't believe you. I believe that that could be the answer, but I don't believe that's the actual answer because I don't think anyone knows. Like it's, you can't really calculate it. It's, it's very, very difficult. Um, what do I think of Brexit? I don't want to talk about that. No. Thank you, but no. Um, that said, I have met Dom Dominic. Smart, interesting guy. Um, um, but Brexit, I, I don't know. It's done. So not, not much can be discussed. But do keep throwing the questions. Please, grazie. Uh, let's just check that I actually posted this. My mold's most awkward. You'll see that there's a video. Wait, did this not upload? Hi everyone, you'll see that there's a video. Hi everyone, I am, you'll see that there's a video. <laughs> I'm so I'm bad at Instagram. Instagram. Only uploaded half the story. Uh, one second, I'm also just going to tweet again. Can't hang. Um, sorry, one sec. I'm very glad that YouTube haven't banned me for the music. Right? Apparently they do this while you're live streaming. They're more intense about it. Um, wait. What was I doing? Twitter. Nice. <sighs> the bots are here. Thank you, Harambe. Doing God's work. Okay. sensible game uh, oh, I hate it. oh see look at that it just killed my giant wow okay so he's all the way down there man my only chance now is to get jeez this is brutal he just always finds a way i can't stand it Ugh, this is so brutal. I think I'm gonna lose again. I just can't do anything. Maybe I just wanna, I guess just buy trade and start. Like he's able to just leave his city open because he knows I can't access it. This is insane. Actually insane. I guess I just do this. Okay, I'm gonna just try and bum rush him. No, that was a misclick.
Wait, what? Why did this not level up? The wheels are falling off. Okay, I'm going to need to keep doing this just so that he can't get close to the city. It's the only purpose it's serving. Like, I'm still crushing him in points, but I can't get across. <clears throat> hey, Isabella! Hi, thanks for joining. Uh, yes, this will make you... Well, maybe it'll make you better at Polytopia. If it's... Uh, it's not going well. Uh, Shmamaron asks... Any other guests planned for in the near future? Loved your chat with Toby Ward. Thank you. Um, no, I need to. I, I need to like think more about whether I want to do like a formal kind of having guests on my channel as a chat because these are kind of like random hodgepodge things. So I, I, before I doing, um, I know what I would want to call the sort of name of of the regular chats. I don't like to say podcast, but you know, um, but I don't. No, if I'm quite ready to start doing it yet, just because I've got too many, too many things on the stove. What's the expression? Irons in the fire. I need to finish some of them before starting new ones. Um, but who would be good guests, actually? So, so far, like, of those long-form chats, I've had Toby Ord and Anders Sandberg, both of whom are, like, far-future researchers, philosophers and physicists. Um, so I probably wanted to do something a bit different, but... I like that kind of direction. It's like a long-termist, far future, big picture, inspire, inspirational stuff. Mental masturbation a little bit, but I think it's fine to do that sometimes. Um, so yeah, who do, who do you think I should have on? I love suggestions. <clears throat> okay, we've really got to start porting it up. So, how? There's not an easy way of doing this. Hmm. By roads. I still can't really do any connections. Roads are useful because they can then get you to trade. This customs house thing produces two stars for every nearby port. So you get like a bunch of money when you start building ports and customs houses. Um, it's really important. Um, yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, probably should just do ports. So I can start getting... I can start boating about. I can buy, a, get a port on the next turn. Yeah, that'll, that'll do the job. Stephen Wolfram. Oh, I love Wolfram. But... I, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm punching up a bit if I get him, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, a, he'd be like, in your little channel? Nah. Uh, I mean, he, he might not be, he's, he's very nice, but um, I just, he's so brilliant. And I would have to do so much research. Because at least with Toby and Anders, like, that's like stuff I've really, you know, that astrophysics helps. Whereas with his stuff, like, he's more computational scientist, um, like information theory, that kind of thing, I'll be really out of my depth. But maybe it's a good reason to like um, dig into it. I love his uh, cellular automata, you know, how just with through like really basic starting conditions, like these really incredible emergent in complexity can happen with these just little cells repeating. Um, uh, you know, it seems like very analogous to something that's going on in how our universe works. Um, ooh, Slav Slavoj Zizek is a philosopher that introduced me to the idea that Christ had a moment of atheism on the cross. <laughs> yeah, probably did. probably wasn't having a good time. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's an interesting point. I will look into into him. Um, uh, other questions? Polytopia? Shall I give it a chance? Yeah. Of, 
Um, Kyle Hill. I don't. I know the name Kyle Hill. I can't think who that is. Um, Alex O'Connor, Cosmic Skeptic on YouTube, would be one of my favorite people to watch. Yeah, I don't. Again, don't really know his stuff. Um, but thank you. This is good. Good stuff. I should be writing this down somewhere. Uh, actually, could maybe when this is done, could one of you guys? comment with the name of these guests on this video because I think this video stays up once it's finished right um yeah that'll be awesome David Deutsch of uh, my friend Isabel and I call him Bay we love him um <laughs> he's he's so brilliant also very much out of my depth but yeah um Daniel asks I studied astrophysics in the US and was wondering what your favorite topic was that you studied within the field. Mm, what was my specific favorite topic? General, uh, well, special on general relativity. Really interesting, obviously. Um, stellar physics, not very fun, but I think it was just because it wasn't well taught, that particular module. Um, uh, cosmology. I mean, cosmology is just I uh, it, it, like it's like it's like the DMT of physics, you know. It's got to be that. Neil deGrasse Tyson. That would be nice. Again, I don't know if he'd say yes to have coming on my channel, but I've been on his. Uh, I don't know if you all saw it, but I was on a uh, interviewed with uh, him and Matt Ginsburg. Um, on Star Talk, uh, you should go watch it. I did. I did a good job. I was pleased with that conversation. Um, oh, thank you, Minicore. I appreciate that. Uh, Demis Asalvis would be a great interview. Yeah, maybe get him on. Nick Bostrom. Yep, love to get him on too. Uh, double ofs. Yeah, there's, there's, there's some good names. How am I coping with the Texas summer so far? Uh, I'm loving it. It's great. Um, yeah, I, I like the heat. But um, that said, the bugs, and I like bugs. Bugs are out of control. Like, there's, it's just like, I was just like, what are you? It's just giant. It was like a, something like a grasshopper, I think, this long. Um, and I almost got it on my hand. It was a real friend, but then it, it sort of jumped and flew away. Um, I was going to go wake Igor up with it because he doesn't like them. <laughs> and so it would have been the way, like, morning, dear, look, <laughs> this thing this big. Uh, but it was not to be. Um, yeah. Uh, ooh, what have we got here? Okay. Uh, what am I doing? That was wrong. What I just did was wrong. Don't do that because I was about to build a port. And then I was going to put him in the port. But instead I moved him to the side for no reason. And so now he's not in the port and I miss a whole turn of exploring. Don't do that. It was bad. It was, that, was, that was a mistake. Now I'm going to lose the game. See? See? This is what happens. Now I'm on tilt. Um, see? Oh. Moronia. Ugh. That was so stupid. I'm so upset. Okay, we need to get hunting. There's too many leopards. We've got, to, we've got to eat the leopards. See, existential crisis again. What if I'm just killing leopards? Um, uh, okay, what else we got? Oh, this game. I, I can't, I just, I don't have the bandwidth for this game anymore. Oh, yeah, you're nice, nice dragon. Oh, cool. Good for you. You giant dragons. Man. Okay. So, what are we going to do here? Okay, this is actually very important. I need to put this there so it can't come by. Upgrade. this put you there all right buddy now 
now. I've got to think. I maybe want to like stack up my knights. So I can go from max pain. But either. I basically want to get so many knights in there, he doesn't know what to do with it. And then. Hmm. I really need to get navigation, actually. Uh, this is just so bad. I think I want you here, so that you can't attack my knights. All right, so I've got three knights now lined up. This is this is this is actually quite promising. Oh, did I buy trade yet? Ah! <sighs> I probably want to start attacking from the water up here as well. Yeah, I think this is key. Oh, that's nice. La 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 la. Cool. Yeah, okay. Ooh, and then if I... Ex okay, so if I level this up, it would expand and I now get this square. Which I could put a port in. Which may actually be useful. So that I'm not completely landlocked. That's probably the play, although mm, it does seem like a bit of a waste. Yeah, I think that's the play. Let's do that. Border growth. And then. On the next turn, I'll put a port in there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And then why not? Let's just build another rider. What I'm doing, by the way, of, of spending all my money on a turn is probably not a good idea, but I, it's. There's definitely smarter things you can do than that. Okay, so we're in the water. Let's go to these ruins, because. Sure, I will just get something useless again. That's what the game keeps doing today. Level this up. Uh, what else do I want to buy before I take that city and the price goes up? Yeah, probably forestry. A lot of forests. Yeah. Okay. Purchased. Then. Yeah, I can't do anything. All right, and turn on you, Igrok. Polybius, good name. Is there a cognitive age limit on poker players? Uh, I think it, I mean, a cognition does decline with age. So in theory, like you're not gonna be as good a player when you're 90 as when you're 20, but um, no, just depends on the person. Uh, and if you want to extend your cognitive age limit, today I found out really the best thing you can do is do some kind of cardio exercise every single day. Um, like 15 minutes minimum, but you do that every single day uh, as a habit. Um, this is probably the best thing you can do to extend your cognition. Uh, fun fact of the day. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna try and hold myself to this. Uh, you know, I think expecting to do it every day is, is just going to be impossible, but, like, it's not, you know, even if you just jump up and down and do star jumps for five minutes, uh, it's something. And even if you're in a hotel room, right, you can do that. <clears throat> okay, other questions. Cicadas are a pain. Is it weird being retweeted by Elon? No, it's pretty cool. Um, pro tips. Um, what other questions? Have you ever thought of extending your education with a PhD? Why, why not? Um, I thought about it a little bit, and I, my original plan was to sort of carry on in academia, but I'm really glad I didn't, because actually I think increasingly the value 
in terms of like a lot of the value of a PhD is kind of signaling, you know, getting jobs or positions and so on. And okay, sure, a lot of places do insist on it. Well, not a lot. Some places insist on it, but it's they're not quite as prestigious as they used to be. You know, it used to be a very rare thing when someone had them, and now like actually quite a lot of people have them, and so the signaling value is reduced. And um, I there wasn't a topic that was like really standing out to me that I like knew I had to do a PhD in or anything. So it's so much work. It's so much work, so much work. And it's not the kind of work that fits with my personality at all. Um, like at all. It sounds like literal hell on earth for me. So uh, no, this is the answer. Um, uh, okay, let's see what we got here. See, as always, and let's know. Thanks for the useless piece of crap information. Yes, I know there's cities. Oh, now that was handy. Okay, finally it paid off. Now I know what the little freak is playing. Uh-huh. Let's think. All right. This is an urgency. So now I'm going to go... We're going, we're going ape shit, everybody. It is time to bring the pain. There is no greater joy in life than beating Igor at Polytopia. Um, and this is, this is great. This is, this is winnable now. Um, the question is, there's no point bring or building a port for this city because it's around the wrong side. So is there a way I can level it up another way? Uh, ugh. It's kind of gross. I guess I just have to bring you here. I definitely want to build another rider so I can, because I want to start expanding and taking as much of this as quickly as possible. I want another unit in here. And then now, huh. Yeah, I think I want to start. How big is this? 256, so it's a normal sized map. Hmm. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think let's get roads. Oh, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. Okay, I said, all right, well, I don't have much to do right now, then. Um, uh, I don't want to get farming, right? Farming is this. Mm. All right, fine. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Questions? What do I think of lifelong learning? I think it's not just great, I think it's essential. Absolute essential. Um, off topic, but have you ever played Horizon? Its take on Grey Goo is amazing. I have not. I don't know it. I'll check it out. Um, any poker coming up? Might go play the WSOP, a couple of events. Not the main event, but because um, I can't I have something else on. But uh, yeah, might, might actually go to Vegas and throw chips around because I don't know what I'm doing anymore so it'll be fun uh, if you're looking for a collab Andrew Dotson noted thank you Woo, good question favorite fictional universe at present so I've just started reading foundation and that is really cool but like if I had to live in a fictional universe it would have to be The Culture uh, by Ian Banks. Oh, it's ew, it's so good. So I read Surface Detail, which is actually the last book in the series, or second to last, last, first. Um, but that doesn't matter because they're all kind of standalone stories. And it was, I think, the best book I've ever read. So good. Um, so, I, oh. And that, that you know, it, like what he manages to paint is just so incredible. And that's what I hope that we achieve someday or something of that ilk. It sounds so much fun. 
so much fun. Um, and yet, like, despite it being a semi-utopian thing, he manages to put drama in there, which is what's like so brilliant about the sort of series. So, um, yeah, the culture series. I highly recommend it. You can start with probably Player of Games is the best one to start with, uh, just because I know you all like games. Um, and it's fairly short, and it's the second book in the whole series. Um, the very first one in the series is like, I don't know. It was it was okay. It wasn't great. Um, like I think the other two that I read first were just so much better. So, but you can't go wrong. You'll probably still enjoy it. Bye, you tops. Thank you. Nice, good choice, Isabella. Um, what's going on with this lot? So wait, oh, this game, so the person resigned, right? So what does this mean? I think I did win. Or do I have to play it out? Oh, wow, we get to play it out. Oh, this is just like, here we go, the crack cocaine of Polytopia, where you're just like, you've won, and you just get to click buttons. And it's so well designed that even clicking buttons gives you all the dopamine spikes you could ever want. Oh. See what I mean? It's like, I have problems. Big problems. Uh-huh. Go over there. Look at it. There's cities. Oh, that sound. Um, where do we go? Let's go this way. <laughs> Sorry, you're just, I, I'm just going to be drooling doing this. Just <laughs> it's so good. It's just such a good game. I know it just takes all the buttons for my brain. Um, it's, it's probably like you're like, like it's just like watching me play Candy Crush or something. I promise there is more to it than that. I've just played it so much that I can do this without thinking, um, and I'm doing it well. Uh, okay, but I'm not gonna just grind out this silly game. Uh, what else we got? Who, what is your favorite fictional AI? Mm -hmm. I do have an answer. Um, it's in surface detail. Uh, Demise and beyond the nor normal moral constraints, the ship. Mm. It's a good time. <laughs> That's what I'll say about that. Uh, any specific food that has surprised you in Austin? Surprised me. How about surprised? No, so, I, that is not that is not a word I can. I'm not a food person though. Um, Igor jokes that if I like could press a button that I never have to eat again, uh, I would press it, and that's probably true. I just I just don't really think about it, which a lot of people find very strange. Um, um, yeah, so no, I'm not surprised because I I have no expectations <laughs> in any direction. Uh, but there is good food. Um, I have been eating it. I'm still alive, so that's good. Uh, what's the strangest thing about living in America from a Brit's perspective? Um, I mean, the obvious answer, obviously, is like, there are guns. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a little, like, it takes up more of my cognitive energy than I would expect it to. Um, even though I actually love Austin and feel like it's actually a pretty safe place. Um, but it just, I don't know, that's definitely, it's just like a slight background process that I don't have when I'm in the UK. Um, and I think, I, I wonder like how, I wonder if Native Americans, like, not, you, you know what I mean, uh, have that too, you know, and they just have never noticed it. You know, they just are constantly living in this like background of like, ooh, could there be? Um, but maybe that's just because obviously they've been in, you know, but I was after having this before the recent, you know, spate of shootings. So thinking about it, um, that's probably, you know, and I think that's a hidden cost of, of, to society that isn't perhaps discussed as much. It's like the cognitive load just on people if they don't feel safe all the time. Um, or at least the benefits if people do feel safe, you know, but, uh, let's not get into that whole topic because it's. It's, it's a trickier debate than I thought. I thought it was a very clear cut answer and it's actually not. So I, you know, let's not get into that. Um, yeah, what else? 
I know I love it. I really, I really love. There's so many things about Texas I love. It's so, it feels quite different to a lot of the, you know, the U.S. Um, but people actually, that's one notable thing about Austin. Just the neighbors, the people are so friendly. Much more friendly than in like London or in in like you know Californian cities. Just people really care about community and like they'll make eye contact and smile at you. Um, which is really refreshing and apparently that's quite common across the south in the US so that's like definitely one of the best things I've seen I think it's really important for a healthy society that people actually like acknowledge that there are you know they acknowledge each other's existence basically and not just like uh, so yeah that's really cool about Austin What's a general day in the life of Austin Live? Ooh, I don't know. By the way, I just clicked end turn without thinking. And I don't know what just happened. Did, did I finish the last turn? Did Igor go? Or did I just like click end and something happened? Because I've done that before. I just like black out. Okay, that's meaningless. Oof, I don't know. I'm just going to come back to it in a minute. Um, oh, yeah. This is a funsies. Yeah. Oh, you gotta. Oh, you look at you leveling up. What's up, sensible? Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna freeze this. Yeah, you think you're gonna keep your city, but you're not. Oh, you have a fucking catapult. Ugh. Oh. That's annoying. I don't think he can. So I don't think he can see this unit. Oh, he's probably watching the stream. Um. Oh. Okay, I'll just finish building my roads because what else can I do? This is upsetting. Ah. Uh. Hmm. This is quite the pickle. And then I can build an outpost there. I think I just want to garmi actually as cheaply as possible. That means I'd have to buy farming, but I do have a lot of farms. Yeah. I'm just farming as ten. Hmm. Well, I kind of now have to hit this either way. Okay, I'm going to give it a bash. Come over here. And then I'm going to go farming. Uh, see, I don't want to do that because I want to level up this city. See what I mean? There's so many decisions. Oh, lol. He's now frozen. And the thing is, by the way, they're all now seeing that I'm uh, that I, they're all, for sure they're all chatting to each other. Which we know is a chat. Oh, no. Well, they, everyone has like little private secret chats. They'll all be discussing because Polaris is a big threat, usually, um, once it gets going. So they're probably thinking like, well, we need to take Liv down. We can't let her have this. Um, so I bet they're going to be all strategizing and maybe making diplomacy agreements so i wonder if i actually want to suggest one because like i want to attack uh zinzi here but uh, i just yeah and maybe i think i just want to make a peace agreement with him yeah but i oh, but i can't because i haven't researched diplomacy yet of course this is how it works i've got to do strategy which is really expensive. Ah. Okay, so how do I get... Hmm. Okay, well, I definitely want another rider. That's, that goes without saying. I think I just want another rider here. But I can't... I can't take him because he's got bloody catapult. Ooh! I can get catapults. 
and kill him and he can't kill me because he can't see my city i can see his city unless he's done unless he got a temple and got the investigator guy but i feel like if he had seen my city he would have killed this guy then again this player is good enough to know that and not do it to make me think that he hasn't seen it so that it will like make me waste money on building catapults this is this is, this is like the kind of dilemmas you have to deal with oh man i don't want to take this sick i do actually but i want to free it up no. let's just do this Give me some of this. i do need to make a peace treaty with him because he's gonna be a pain in the ass Unless he, unless he researches it and does it first. Which he might, if he's smart. I know you're watching. I can't even do all that game right now. Okay. Let's go take care of that. Oh, that's enough of you, my friend. You little monster. And then let's get. We have to buy roads first. Hmm. You need to come down here. You need to come there. Let's level up this city. Now, do I want to do border growth? Or, that's a good question. There's not actually much out there in the water except for the fish, but then I do get to put another port there. And let's do population. And then, ugh, this feels more like good. I definitely want another unit for the next turn. And then run them out of here. Okay, and then I think on the next go we want to buy roads. Oh, do I do it? This game is so upsetting. Let's answer some questions first. It's more fun. Um, when are you getting the Texas mandated pickup truck? When the cyber truck is ready. Um, oh yeah, I didn't finish the question. What is the general day in the life of Austin live? Well, of my new life, it's going to be I'm going to do 20 to 30 minutes of cardio every single day. That for sure. Um, and then, depends. I go climbing a lot. Uh... Doing a lot of, I've been doing a lot of reading, uh, writing on, writing, seeing friends. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm doing a French conversation lesson from GCSE in the UK, <laughs> where you're like, these are my interests. I like books and movies. Je, je libre, no, j'aime libre et va à la cinéma. J'aime ma chat. Well, that means, that means someone else. Um, but you know, like that, that's how I feel like I'm speaking. So I'm not going to answer that anymore. Uh, yeah, but on the other hand, think of all the stuff people could do if you, they wanted people at the sandwich. Oh, oh, it's dark. Um, uh, Aquarian is probably the worst tribe in this game. Yeah. Yes and no. They're very, they do have very, very strong nights. Um, do you ever feel guilty about stealing, not splitting? Um, sometimes, but not really in the end, because it, I think the value of the lesson it taught me, I would like to think has gone in, it's gone like, it's driven me to work harder on my charity stuff, which has been like far bigger impact than, you know, if that guy had gotten 3k. Um, 
Uh, that said, if I if, if I ever like somehow go in touch with him or he ever go in touch with me, I would gladly you know donate it to a place where you know his half where he wants it to go. I think that would be a nice remedy. Um, yeah, I, it's a mixed feelings about that. Um, hell yeah, the manned mission to Mars, worth it or not? Yeah, I think so. It's gonna be difficult, but like if we don't do that, what are we ever gonna like? That's it. That's just the end of human story seems silly like why i think we're better than just staying uh, the earth is wonderful and i think most of us should say i would stay on earth i think the earth is great but i don't think that means that some of us shouldn't go and explore new places i think that's makes again do we want the simulation to stay on or off or do we want if it's not a simulation do we want to stand a chance of building greater and happier things um because that's the thing if we expand into space the amount of stuff we're going to learn, the technologies that we will create that will be so helpful to life on Earth and make everybody richer in the long run. It won't take, you know, it'll take a while, but that it's information, basically. We'll be gaining so much new information by expanding and going to different, you know, planets and, and bodies. Um, that will be so valuable to our species overall and, and on the whole. Um, so, yeah, I think it's absolutely worth it. Um, and it's... The thing is, it's like it's not like we're asking our governments to do it. They're not going to do it. So I, I like I like the I'm a big fan of the mission. Bohr or Heisenberg? I mean Heisenberg, quantum. Come on, it's a lot better. The Bohr model, um, but they're both great. House on the moon. Oh, the abortion rights. I'm not talking about that. Sorry. It's like uh, Brexit. <laughs> um, I, I just I can't deal with it. Um, my turn. See, you notice how I play the games where I'm likely to win? Yeah. Ugh. Stop it. He stops. So I need to now buy... Ooh. Do I need to buy navigation already? Hmm, let's think. Let's bring you here. Give him a Bosch. Wait, have you moved already? Okay, so you need to go there. And then you can go there. There we go. See? Figured it out. Uh. Hmm. I think I... So, because I so t in order to go into ocean squares, you need to purchase navigation, and I have not done that. It's expensive. Ooh. And it's oh man, this is annoying because it's like it's so much money to purchase to only get across to there. But otherwise, yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I think I just hang out here with this boat and use it if he comes and tries to attack me. I think that's the better option. Okay, so what was I gonna do? I was gonna buy roads. Um, which will enable this city to get rich. Um, do that. That. I want to border growth that up. Um. It's annoying I can't level this up yet, but it's not going to make sense. Mm, come over here. Alright, this game's going pretty nicely. <sighs> Alright, let's get in there. It's misery of a game. Yeah, it's very nice. Look at you go. Oh man, he's got a dragon on my island. Look at this. They're just too overpowered. It's insane. It's such a stupid tribe. Ugh. It's just so tedious. Like, I, I just, he's impossible. Oh, man. I'm so, I'm, I'm on so much tilt. All right, fine. Move 
finally give it a little bit of damage. Um, and in fact, yeah, he'll stay there because at least it blocks it from coming any further forward. Like that. Uh, and then I can't even, I don't have enough money to do that. Okay, finally I can do trade, although I've not got that much. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Put that in there, and then put a customs house, and now I get some more stars on that turn. And then that's it. I can't believe I'm gonna lose another game to him. Bye, Svesan. I don't know how to say your name. Here's uh, Zed Macbest. The se here's the secret about the game. The most important aspect to win this game is having a good spawn. Um, it helps. It's important to have a good spawn, whether it's Polytopia or this Topia. Spawn matters. Really helps. It is the secret of life. Okay. There he goes. Thinks he's being sneaky. And he is. Hmm. Question is, do I want to stay in the water or do I want to go out on land with this guy? Stay in water is good. Okay, so well, okay, so this city can level up. And then hmm. Probably just want a border growth. I don't know, population growth even. Uh, and then, what do we do here? How do I get... I still don't have trade yet. I need to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I think let's just build another more units. Look at these up. Oh, I know what I can be doing that I haven't thought of. Stupid girl. I can break ice. That's really important. Like that, like that. Yeah, breaking ice is, is key, and I always forget that you can do it. Because then I can get in there. Um, thank you, Antonio Reloper. Um, I'll probably, I'm probably gonna only stream for like another, should I just end? I think I might just end in 10 minutes, you know? Because I'm starting to get a little tired. And that would be a clean four hours, five hours. Um, let me see what's going on here. Uh, nice. Hey, LJ. Uh, should I carry on? I'll do like another half an hour. Um, this is fun. Um, but I am starting to get a little tired. I notice that, and I'm, I forget that you're all there. <laughs> I just get sucked into the polyverse, um, and then I'm not saying words. Uh, what's going on here? Do I think polygenic st scores plus embryo selection will be a force for good or bad over the long term? Ooh, 
Great question. Um, I think it's not clear. It's definitely not clear. And anyone who says it is, is I think, you know, it, 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 there's uncertainty in it, basically. But I lean reasonably comfortably, confidently in the direction that it's good because um, it just means that you will be able to select for A, healthier embryos, which is really important on average. if the pop You want a population that is on average born as healthy as possible than not, right? Um, and then secondly, you in intelligence like intelligence is the strongest correlation to like um you know not only personal success but also success for like building shit that's good for other people you know making discoveries and so on and so um having more intelligent people than not you know is a better thing i know it's i don't know why that's a controversial thing but apparently it is um but yeah there will be issues of course you know if if it's a thing that only some people have and some people don't that would be a problem um, so it needs, to, you know, like with all new technologies, there's always like a lag between when it first gets developed and it's only in the, ha you know, only a few people are, have access to it to then until it becomes widely available, you know, just like a phones in the beginning, only a couple of people had them and then only a few hundred and then only a few thousand. But now basically the whole world has them. Right. Um, so you just need that time from where it first appears to when it's available to everybody. Uh, or at least to like the vast majority of the population is as small as possible. Um, but yeah, I think overall it's still worth it. <clears throat> Probably. Great question. Uh, what else we got? Um, thanks, Brittany. Appreciate the kind words. Harambe, do you think the astronomical waste write up that you tweeted is about is is likely to be accurate in terms of loss of potential lives. Um, I mean, depends on how you define accurate. Like, does it have huge astronomical error margins on it just by the sheer numbers involved? Of course. You know, like the uncertainty on those numbers is literally astronomical. But I think it's, even though you can't, you know, have much accuracy on that, it's still better to try and quantify those numbers than to just leave it completely unknown and that's all they tried to do in that paper um for those who don't know I, I tweeted this paper called astronomical waste um recently which uh written by nick bostrom and it talks it tries to quantify how first of all how many uh galaxies and stars how much energy and matter is forever like every moment that passes is passing beyond our cosmological horizon because of the expansion of space uh, it's going faster than space time on the fringes from a, our central point, um, our virtual central point. Um, and so what that then goes through is like for every, it tries to estimate how much, because, because in order to like host lives, you know, for lives to exist, you need usable energy from stars and such. Um, and so it tries to quantify how much of that energy is lost per moment and thus how many lives that could possibly exist someday are lost per moment, assuming that we are the only, um, you know, we are the spawn point of life in the universe, which obviously no one knows, but let's assume that it is, and there, there is some evidence to suggest that's the case. Um, then how many lives are we losing every moment that we delay, you know, setting off? But what's interesting as a conclusion to it is not so much, therefore we must rush as quickly as possible, rah, 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 but more, it's more important that we focus our energies on reducing the risk that we go extinct entirely before we get started, um, which obviously there's a risk of. So uh, quite a significant risk of uh, the way things are going. So um, that's kind of what it talks about. And so it, it really, you know, the, the sort of, the, the objections people have to that paper are A, that it's like so uncertain and hard to quantify, so why do it at all, which I think is a bad objection. But perhaps a more you know, reasonable one is that well, it's dangerous to think, you know, it's, 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 we're expending energy even thinking about these big, not, you know, far future things when we've got so many problems right now. But it's like, well, we need to figure out how much we should be focusing, right? If, if we have no, if we're not trying to at all conceptualize how big the, the future could be, then we don't really know what our win or loss is. Um, and then secondly, um, why does everybody on earth have to be working on exactly the same problem? Like, that makes no sense. 
Like, it's okay for, like, a tiny fraction of people, which is, it's like, 0.01% of the population to be thinking about the far future in the long term. Um, and that's what it is. Um, but there, there are some people, weirdly, who, are, like, really don't like that people are even asking these questions, which I find really disturbing, actually. Um, but anyway, uh, so, yeah, it's a really interesting topic. And I can't remember what the original question was. Uh, but... Uh, it's cool, you should go read it. <laughs> um, uh, bye Antonio! Hope to hike up at Aconcagua sometime in Chile. Uh, where were we at with the question? Wraith Knight, what's up? Yorkshire Beanie, hi! From Yorkshire. Must be late there, thank you for watching. Um, who else we got? Isabella, can you talk about end games? Like when you have a ton of units and you're surrounding them, but opponent's defense is pretty good and you just can't finish them off. Um, so in end games like that, I mean, usually it's always just like a war of attrition. Um, but it, it sounds like, you know, if you've got them surrounded, it's just a matter of time. So you may, maybe you want to like, if you haven't got your catapults involved, for example, you can you, you can start bringing them in and just like, you know, there's only so much a single unit in a city can take. If you have enough catapults surrounding it and then you have other units as well to attack, you're going to get in there eventually. Um, so I think the thing, the mistake people often make is that they try and attack a city with two, until before they have enough backup units to like sort of see the attack through. Um, you know, so, you know, you think, oh, I can handle it with, I, I can just, I'll just weaken them now and I'll attack with my three units and wait until the rest get hit. But then you're like, you're never actually building up enough to actually finally make that final break. So sometimes you want to just delay a little bit until you've got enough units ready to go and then go all in at once. Um, you know, like you would in another, in a, in a normal battle. Because we all do normal battles, obviously. Uh... Oh, so that was the follow-up question, Harambe. How much should we worry about astronomical waste in comparison to more short-term and more down-to-earth matters? Well, yeah, so the answer to that is um, we shouldn't see it as like a, you know, the astronomical waste is kind of just is a way of like trying to quantify what the potential loss is if we go extinct. And so if anything, it, it's, a, it's a moral argument for why we need to focus on Earth to make sure that we make it um, and, work, you know, focus on the current issues we have right now. So it's like, it's not... It's not contra to it in any way, um, which is why the argument people often give, it's like, oh, you shouldn't be thinking about this stuff. It's like, it's, it's complementary to saving Earth. <laughs> Quite, it makes people even, it makes me feel even more motivated to make sure that we don't die in the next few decades um, <laughs> because the future could be so big and grand. Um, so, yeah, people are strange. Um, Uh, what, what is this question? I'm, I'm quite relieved that there are people who are already thinking about and building towards plan B's to Earth. Yeah. Uh, wait. Is it his go? Was it, wasn't it my go still? Hadn't I finished? Did he kick me? No. Wait, did, did, wait, did you, sorry, I'm just talking to Eagle. Did you make me skip my turn? He didn't, right? Like, he wouldn't do that. Like, he's never done that before. I'm being paranoid. He's also messaging me saying food is here. And when are you going to finish? <laughs> but this is, this is why I'm streaming Polytopian, because it's so, I love it. <laughs> This is a great, this is so much easier for me to stream than poker because it's just like I'm not freaking out that I'm losing tons of money and that I'm also playing badly and not putting forward my best self. This is just, this is just fun. Um. <clears throat> okay, everyone's saying it's late for them. All right, fine. We, I, will, I, I will end in 15 minutes. 9.15, my time. 5 a.m. or whatever it is your time. <laughs> Sorry. I'll try and start earlier as well uh, next time so that my European friends, of course, 
my 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 spawn point uh, don't have to stay up until ridiculous o'clock um, uh, I'm not playing am I <sighs> I'm just trying to delay this misery I don't want you all to see this it's just carnage there he goes there yeah oh look now there's that there, there yep cool there goes sensible this is just just another day in the life of playing against this guy Dragons in my cities, just killing everything. He's just unbearable. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, I'm still technically in first, but it's meaningless. Like he's just too strong. Because like, I can't, I can't do anything. There we go. That's nice. I'll just spam some knights. Where, where did all those dragons go anyway? I mean, this is so sad. It's just, it's just the tragedies. Tragedy of the ages. Ugh. Miserable. Every time he wins. Every time. All right, this is a more fun game. Okay. Wait, how are they getting there? Interesting. No. Okay, this is important. Break ice. Ah, oh, that was very key. Hmm. Interesting. I think I want to break ice here as well. So this guy can come in. Ooh. Ooh. So I need to kill that. Because it'll... Hmm. Actually, no. Can I kill him in one hit here? That's really... F ah, shit. No, I can't. Oh, man. This is a mistake. <sighs> because now he's going to freeze that unit. Which is really annoying. Okay, well, I'll give you a Bosch anyway. Um, okay, I need to level this up. Hardcore. You need to go there. And then I think best to I'm gonna take the stars from this one. Hope he doesn't have knights yet. Is he? Because if he gets knights, I'm in real trouble. But I don't think he's anywhere close yet. Man, that's really expensive. I get that. And level this up. Oh, I keep forgetting to buy customs houses, which is a huge fish move. Oh, I can't buy any more. Hmm. Alright, I have to remember on the next turn to bloody well... Can I get... Yeah, I can actually. No, that's not going to help. I need to remember how important it is to buy customs houses. I'm missing out hardcore. End turn. <laughs> Kreiser, ooh, good question. Why do you believe that we live in a positive sum world? A lot of EAs seem way too optimistic to me. Well, the main reason why we're in a positive sum world, we didn't used to necessarily be. Um, you know, before the, um, wow, my mind's getting tired. Before the, was it the, the economic revolution? But it's not that the, the the thing where our economy until like industrial revolution. There you go. Um, prior to that, 
basically technology we didn't have the technology to find you know to to turn economic growth exponential um and uh, and, and like build basically new really like new transformative things uh, that would then lead to greater more transformative things um but in around the industrial revolution time things went sort of super normal uh before like you know it was like we were literally limited to sort of you know how many crops can this piece of land grow and that's how many people it supports but then because of this technological explosion a few hundred years ago we discovered new ways to make get more out of out of what we've previously thought were like sort of well from the same plat platter of land um so things went from being zero sum to literally positive sum uh, and there's a really really great if you don't my explanation is not particularly good but someone just wrote uh, uh, Max Rosa of Our World in Data. If you go to Our World, Our World in Data .org and just Google positive sum, zero sum economy, you'll find he wrote it like in the last couple of months, a really long piece explaining this of why we literally are in a positive sum world, um, provided that we don't let our, you know, we are smart with the ever more increasingly powerful technologies that we make. Um, but we have certainly been in a positive sum world for the last couple of hundred years. Um, and long may it continue. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll even stick that in the show notes. Show notes. This is not a podcast. Uh, in the comments or somewhere, I'll, I'll, I'll find it and I'll link it. If you can't find it, uh, I'll put it when I finish in. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. That's how long it took me to do that numbers. Them numbers. Uh, I'm thinking, oh, Minicore, I'm thinking of buying the full version. Had no idea I was missing out on so much gameplay. Oh, yeah, seriously. You've got to buy all the tribes. There's so much variety. There, there's so much variety. And, like, they're really quite... And it's weirdly well-balanced. That's what's so interesting. You know, there are definitely some tribes that are, like, much higher than others. Like, Vengia rubbish unless it's on a really tiny map they're, they're the ones who have swordsmen first um their economy is just so bad um so unless you can get lucky and like basically you know surprise your opponent really early on you just you can't win with them but otherwise they're very uh um they're just very yeah they've just really f designed this game so beautifully it's really cool how well how balanced things are um <laughs> ever play against yourself in any game and who won? Uh, I mean, all the time. With like <laughs> track mania. I mean, I yeah. <laughs> Anything where it's like, oh, this is what the time you got. And now you have to beat it. Playing against myself, and it's a problem. Uh, whoa, Svetsan. This is the best day in my life. Almost twenty-four hours up. Retroactively, the end of it is a hundred percent. One divided by one limit. X going to one, X to the power of two, to the power of two, worth it. Fuck yeah, thank you. So yeah, I'm sorry for screwing up so many biological talks. I will definitely stream earlier uh, next time. Apologies. I did not think for your, because actually most of you folks, my fans, you are European. Um, and I just, you know, I was like, ah, I'm just doing a stream tomorrow, 4 p.m. Uh, not very friendly. I will definitely next time. And I'm going to try and do this at least weekly. Um, for the next, certainly for the next few weeks because I'm home. Um, and this was super cool. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go and have to see how many new subscribers I got. <laughs> get people, please, please go get people to subscribe to my channel. It's, 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 oh, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but like so many of the comments on my videos are like, these are amazing. Why don't you have more subscribers? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't, I don't get it. I guess it's just because I'm too infrequent. But come on. ContraPoints, she's infrequent. She has millions. <laughs> she's very good. That one was good as ContraPoints. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay. I, oh, Ocean and Songs. Yes, we like this game. Okay, so he does have catapults and he does see. All right, then well, we got the information. Well, that's not nice. Um, hmm. Right, well, I need now then. That was a mistake that I just did. 
See, poor play. Hmm. Why can't that go there? I thought that would be able to go there. Oh, and now he's going to kill that. Man! See, I'm just not thinking. Got to think. Okay, so I'm glad I actually got that information because that means I don't need to buy catapults. This is, this is very, very bad. Very embarrassing. Why can't I... Is there anything useful I can get? Those would be good, yeah, but I don't have much ice actually. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty much drawing dead in this game because I just there's not enough water, and I'm and I'm right in the middle, and I'm getting attacked from both sides by like two literal top five in the world players, uh, and I'm nowhere close to that. So this is, this ain't going to go well. Um, meh. I'm just going to talk to you guys for the last four minutes of this. All right. It's a plus EV Harambe. Haha. <laughs> what? Oh, about the things. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm convinced you'll blow up in subscribers at some point. It takes one video that hits some, quarters, some sort of zeitgeist, and the more videos you produce, the likelier I to hit it. You can back it up. Concur. Thank you. Thank you for the words of encouragement. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Harambe, for being moderator. Really appreciate it. Um, uh, yeah, really, really kind of you. Uh, and you've all been wonderful. Thank you for sticking with me, staying up so late. Um, this was much more fun and easier than I expected it to be, uh, which is great. Uh, I don't know what to do for the last three minutes. I'm just going to sit here and stare at you. <laughs> Would you like a tesseract? Would you like to come with me into the four-dimensional void? Uh, look at this thing up close. You, need, you do need to see it. Oh, wait, the light's bad. It's so good. Uh, uh, let me have this as well. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm just gonna <coughs> sit here and show you all my toys. Oh, I'm out of focus, aren't I? Can't have that. Even though actually my camera has also focus if I just remember to turn it on, but you know. Um. <laughs> Very funny, Harambe. You do not, not, not ask, would someone ask for not, not, but. Um, uh, uh, thank you. You are much appreciated. And I will see if, I don't know, if this becomes a thing, we'll, we, we, may, we may have to figure something out. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate your help today. Um, what other things? I don't know what to say. It's weird. In the final minute, I've just gone, I've gone shy. Uh, where's the light? Um, what, that should, like, how do people end streams? Do they do like a, this was a thing? Look, ending soon. I don't know what's that. Oh, I know what I could do. Hang on. Uh, wait, wait, everything's hard. Ah, I'm huge. Ah. Ciao.